for the people to do that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah. Let me see if I pop up now. So we live right now? Yeah, we live. They just started doing that, though. I don't get it. Nah. Uh-huh. We ain't got no viewers yet, huh? Nah. It's all good. Yeah, we're falling here. Let's yep, see. they say we live now. Okay. Wait for the people to come up in here, man. Community, what it do? We in this thing. Got my nigga Drebo. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Drebo. Community, we live right now, man. Got Drebo in the building with his yeah. young hoe. Piyuski on the way. Let's get it. Pull Hit up. the link. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. They coming there in right go. now. They coming in. Shout out to the peoples. Shout out, shout out. I'm just, do- I'm, I'm just doing my um my young promo. Yeah, gotta get it together. It's a process. You gotta mm-hmm. get it together. You know what I mean? You dig? Yeah, perfect timing, eight day. That's what I see. Yeah, yeah. We are gonna talk about all this uh, stuff though. It's about to be some changes. Uh oh. Good changes though. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah. Good growth changes right there. I fuck with growth. Drebo, what is your Instagram again? The homie Drebo. That's why the homie. Oh yeah. The homie Drebo. Shut up. Up, people be on, back. people be on uh-huh. uh, DSPs trying to search the homie Drebo. That shit don't be popping up. <laughs> I'm like, you gotta just put Judge Drebo. Hold up, Cryptic in here. Shout out to Cryptic. Yeah, shout, shout out Cryptic. Out. Yeah. Shout out Cryptic. We in this motherfucker, man. All right, I just posted that right there. All right, let me do one more, one more. Uh huh. Hey man, y'all heard about that that money storage? Nigga oh broke yeah, they We're gonna, we gonna, we gonna talk about that. We're gonna talk about that. Hold on. Yeah. I Give me a it. second to get this up in here. You know what I mean? I'm like, damn, why they didn't? Call <laughs> they me said this whole work. <laughs> he has a lot of free time. Yeah, he got a job, man. Yeah, I got a lot of free time. No, the fuck, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid. Uh, oh got kids. Yeah, got free time. Uh, nigga, what? <laughs> nigga, two hey. jobs. Nigga, hey, three that's, kids. Hey, that's right funny now. though, man. That's funny. Nigga, this is my only off day. It's Hold Sunday. Up. It's Sunday. Hold on. <laughs> funny for that. <laughs> they say he got too much free time. Nigga, <laughs> he never got no free time. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll just make shit happen. This was definitely always there. Man, I, make, I make shit happen. They say, who's dude? That's Dreeball. You don't know the homie Dreeball? Who's dude? What up, y'all? Dang, man? the homies, man, oh, on the man. hat. I like this hat. I'm a, she feel me? Hold I'm on, man. I'm an unknown nigga out here. I'm going to hit the jam know. out this bitch. And if they watched, if they watched the uh, numbers on the board, they know who Drebo is. Yeah, y'all, Congregation. Y'all, y'all, y'all should know who Drebo, Drebo is. is. Yeah, what's up, y'all? I don't yeah. get it. Somebody got somebody in there know me. All right. It gotta be a <laughs> somebody, somebody said Hove needs a career. It's <laughs> <laughs> crazy. Man, oh no, that hey, ain't cool, man. Enough on my nigga. Hove, us up over here. Yeah, get off the homie, man. Hey, the chat be funny though. There we go. See, look, it pop up when it when, when it, you actually live. Huh? Yeah, we they gonna we gonna have to fix that. We gonna have to fix that. We are going to have to fix that. Hold on. Getting everything together. They tell tell Judo play some unreleased music. He gonna play some stuff today too. Yeah, I got some shit for y'all. I got, got some, some shit that I might get in trouble for. Fuck it. Yeah, hey. <laughs> They we said, they said, yeah. they said, they said he's the guy from the Jamaican restaurant. <laughs> he is the guy oh, from yeah, the Jamaican yeah, restaurant. Yeah, for sure. Shout You're out right. We, shout out he we also starving. rapped, though. You feel yeah. me? Shout out We Starving. Yeah. Shout the up, you back seat driving. Yeah, man. The remix <laughs> nah, going crazy, shout out. too. Re- you dropped it already? Nah, nah. Hell no. That's why I say I like it. I like That's it. going on the album. Did you, mm-hmm. you got the remix? Uh, I don't have it put together. So it's you and Cash on there. You got both verses though. Yeah, but I I want to play them today. I put them together. I want to play them. We don't. I don't got them all in one though. So uh, let's play, play one. Let's play me. one. Fuck hey, it, shout out to the homies. All right, look. So let me tell y'all, man. There's some changes happening and stuff like that across the board. Um, community is now going to go live Mondays, Thursdays. We're thinking about 12 p.m. going forward. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, because reason being. Um, we was thinking about it. We was like the only reason why we had even did that seven o'clock spot and six o'clock spot is because we was at the well, actually nine o'clock spot is because we was at the old platform and you know what I mean? We would leave from there, didn't want to go at that time and then shoot over. So we was like, why are we still doing this same thing? You know what I mean? It's going to free up the days. Um, yeah, it's earlier for our East coast people and stuff like that. So I think it's perfect. I think it's perfect, man. 12 p.m. today, um, 
T Rail Pun and Keem, they just wrapped up filming. Um, what can go wrong? Pun on his way over here right now. But yeah, we're gonna start doing stuff earlier and what that's gonna do in return. Um, more content. Some days I'll just be doing some random streams as well, too. I'm working on new shows and stuff like that. We're revamping the Fig Community World News on top of that, too. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot of new changes and stuff like that. It's going to be easier. You feel me? But a lot of times the East Coast people, man, they always say, we got to wake up and watch the shows. Yeah. We want to, we want to, you know, get the people to watch us live. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so I think 12 p.m. 12 p.m. will be perfect. That midday going to be clutch. No, it's going to be clutch. It's going to be more energy. Um, yeah. And like I said, I can work on more stuff because now I got like three more other shows that I'm working on, bro. Man. And it's hard to try to like just to cram everything in there. Man. Like it's a lot. For sure. You know what I mean? On top of bro, having a life and you feel and me? If y'all going at twelve, you could be out by three and you could get whole 12. shit done after three. Yeah, bro, <laughs> and it's good. Get <laughs> everything done. At four. Pick up the kids. You feel me? Oh, do what I, I got to do. Film and do some other stuff too. So yeah. See, somebody said I be watching y'all till it's like three in the morning. Like, yeah, I understand that. Thank you for doing that. Yeah. You know what I mean? Thank you for doing that. But yeah. Especially that's the people overseas. That's yeah, especially the people overseas and stuff. You know what I'm saying? See, sometimes it'd be 1.30 a.m. watching community and these boys worldwide. You feel me? King Offline TV said you need to change the set, bro. We're gonna change the set eventually and stuff too. I like so, this shit. No, 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 no. This is this is this is good. This is good. You feel me? But we had a spot before at the studio. It was going to be like where we was going to film Shame on You. And we ended up was like, nah, we need something a little better. Okay. So, yeah, yeah what, what we're going to do is, uh, yeah, this year we'll have a new set and stuff like that. I'm right. just not in a rush to do things like that. You know what I mean? I'm not, a, like, like me personally, I'm not in a rush to do things. I'd rather work on more content for y'all, give y'all more new shows, give y'all more new energy. And then put that towards, you know what I'm saying, getting a new facility and everything like that. Yeah, time because, everything. Yeah, because then too, bro, like every, like I said the last time, I feel like the live streaming, the podcast space now, is getting so watered down now. Like yeah. everybody is having a podcast now. Like it's ridiculous at this point. Yeah, it's become a trend for sure. It's, yes, yeah, it's, 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 it's turning into like what... um Music did. Yes. <laughs> but it's not always a bad thing, but it just... It's a lot more to weed through, though. Yeah. No, no, no. It's not a bad thing, but it oversaturates it when you have so many people doing the same exact thing. Fact, like, right. when I when we first started Community, bro, we it wasn't nobody really doing this stuff. You know what I'm saying? And then once it started, once everybody started moving and doing everything like that, it, it yeah, it starts being like, it just it just gets very redundant. Mm -hmm. And I like being able to, to be inspired to do stuff. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Facts. That's why I like what y'all did with the new show. Yeah, that's all. That's all. No, no, no. New even even the shame on you was about to um the set is about to change for that as well too. But yeah, bro, I just don't like I don't like the 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 way things are going as far as I just see everybody with a podcast, and I think what's going to separate me and what's going to separate all the homies is is just making top tier content. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So like the the show with me and House Phone that was an all day shoot. You know what I'm saying? Like it takes all day to shoot that. We starving. Um, yeah, we're shooting that every week. That's that's time consuming. Man. And I want to add two or three more of those shows onto the plate. You know what I mean? Stick to what the supporters want us to watch. You know what I mean? And 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 still do that, but for the most part, just bring so much different stuff. And I feel like that's gonna elevate us to a whole nother level. You Variety. feel me? Yeah, that's gonna yeah. elevate us to a whole nother level. 100%. Because of the, the 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 discovery of our pods, I feel like we don't get a lot. We get we get we get new subscribers, but to get new subscribers in waves and stuff like that, it gotta be something different. Yeah. Cause I feel like the people that watch us, they gonna watch us. They already locked in and stuff like that. You know what I mean? And then if you wanna just get the topics and everything like that, it's like nah, it's like 25, 50 other people that are doing the same stuff. And what's going to separate us is having that new content. Like there's no show like what me and house phone is doing. You feel me? Nice. We starving is, is, is single handedly killing every fucking time. And I yeah, but I got a couple more ideas that I'm going to do. And now we got, you know what I'm saying? We got the capital, we got the, the, the equipment and we got the, the manpower and the team to, to create all of these situations now. So I'm excited for that. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, yeah. But yeah, going er, going earlier, I'm looking forward. So yeah, going forward, 
Mondays, 12 p.m. Sometimes it'll be one, but for the most part, 12 o'clock. Thursdays will be 12 o'clock, and we're going to run it like this yeah. going forward. You know what I'm saying? And um, I know back on Fig, uh, T-Rail, I think he said they're going to start at an hour earlier, too. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good move, too. Yeah, bro, because, it, bro, like I said, it be a lot. Oh, so Monday, Monday show gonna be before back on feed. Yeah, yeah, we're Steady. gonna be, we're gonna, we're gonna be before. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. It's way, bro. It's way, it's way easier, bro. Nah, it's you way gonna, easier. You gonna feel that shit in your day to day with the shit, all the shit you gotta do, and then early and then having that evening to still move and do what you gotta do, bro. That, you gonna feel that shit. Bro. Nah, nah, bro. But yeah, but like I said before, bro. Me personally. I don't want to, and even though everybody been saying like the last episode when me and House Phone was in, everybody kept saying they 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 loved it. They want to see us do a pod. I don't want to do another pod. Yeah. Me personally, I don't want to do another pod. I want to build. I want to make shows. I want to direct some shows. I want to, you know what I'm saying? Like that's what that's what like I really enjoy doing now. Like I don't want to just keep sitting down talking about shit all the time. It's good enough we do it on here. We do it on Shame On You. For me, that is enough. You feel me? And if we're going to have more pods on the network, I'd rather some new people come and fill them seats up. You get what I'm saying? And a nigga just curate that shit and everything like that. But yeah. That's good growth right there. Man. Oh, bro, for real, for reals, bro. It, once again, it's like when you see everybody trying to, because I feel like now everybody look at us and say, I'm, I can do what they do. You feel me? It's a lot of that. We have a lot of people feel like, oh, I could do what they're doing. I could do what they're doing. I could do what they're doing and stuff like that. So when you do that, then you got a fucking free for all of just, <laughs> you people, know what I'm people saying? People always think that when you make it look easy. Yeah, but when people do that, what make you dope is you be like this, okay, I'm going to do this. Pivot. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Then they're going to try to do this. And when they do that, that's when you go, uh. You keep turning, man. You keep doing that. You keep getting the cracking and stuff like that. Thanks. But yeah, but people, people, uh, People in for a rude awakening if you think what we doing is easy. Because I hear a lot of times people say, oh, you guys, you're not doing work. Y'all getting paid to just talk and everything <laughs> like that. Like, nah. Yeah. It ain't that simple, man. It ain't. It ain't that simple. Just even coming up with topics, keeping uh, um, people's attention span up and stuff like that. But like, like I said, I'm real, 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 real excited for the future, all the changes that are happening and stuff like that. And I hope you guys are too. You feel me? Yeah. Somebody said keep that playbook fresh a hundred percent. What people facts. feel what people feel to realize too, though, like your audience, you know what I'm saying, love you for you and your your views, you know what I'm saying? You make them feel some type of way each day they come in and they uh, you know, watch your show. Peop other people can't come in and just, you know, win people over like that. You feel me? People gotta get to learn you. So people see what we doing and be like, man, I can do that. I'm about to, I'm about to exactly. get in there too. And I'm like, that part. It, it got I, to, I don't, I don't discourage him. I'll be like, go ahead, cook. But yeah, at, the yeah, same, yeah, yeah. at the same time, though, you gonna have to be entertaining for one. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and you got to have a cool personality for two. You got to do something to stand out and not look like the crowd. You feel me? Because right now everybody, you know, is trying to get in here and they look, they look the same. Like I be Fact. trying to, I be trying to watch people shit just to, just to support and. It's like, nah, this ain't this ain't it. Yeah, you know And shout out to King Offline TV. They said, you know, be more like BuzzFeed or all deaf. That is the vision. Yeah. Mm -hmm. that's you know what I'm saying? Like right when I when I first said I wanted to do a food show, like they were like, oh, we don't know about it. But I was like, that was always the vision. The things that I watched that intri that, that intrigued me on YouTube, like I wanted to put my own spin on that. And come up with brand new ideas. And that's one thing, bro. A lot of times we have these ideas and we don't got the equipment. We ain't got... These shows are expensive. We ain't got the chili to pay for it. Man. You feel me? Off the rip. But now we got everything. So it's like, why not make those ideas come to life, bro, instead of just waiting on it? Just let you know me know. Saying? Just let me know when y'all do the uh, we starving cooking competition because I'm in Oh, I got a... I got a... Uh, <laughs> I got a, a cooking... Because I don't know how to cook. Yeah. You feel me? But I have he some. He all hot pocket. I'm on hot pocket edition. <laughs> you feel me? Me too. On <laughs> TV dinner. Nah, I get in there. I get in there though and try. But I'm thinking mm -hmm. about. I got an idea. I don't want to say it right now. Somebody nah, take yeah, this shit. But I think I'm going to start that up too. And you feel me? Yeah. Why not? Yeah, 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 yeah. And just do that, bro. Because it's worth to do it, and you know, what I mean, see the response too. Yeah, and bro, and if it don't work, it don't work. 
Yeah, yeah. Feel me? You just go back to the drawing board and you think of something else. Like them shots, man. Yeah, that's how it is. But hey, shout out to King Offline TV because BuzzFeed, bro, I used to like literally like, damn, all these shows is hard. Like them shows is nice. Like, damn, you feel me? But yeah, I ain't gonna talk about it though, because you know, motherfuckers be stealing this shit. But then too, like I like I was saying before, I feel like, especially in Los Angeles now, and just in general, people feel like uh their entry point into this shit gotta be messiness. Oh yeah. You get what I'm saying? That's the world right now. That's that's all that's all in reaction channels though. But that's what I'm saying. I feel like nigga, that's that's where like now somebody don't even want to be messy. They just feel like I have to do it yeah. to sustain an audience and shit too. And I don't want that to be what my legacy is personally. Other that. people can do that, but I'm like, nah, I just want to keep doing dope shit. Yeah, just like know, that. just know when it's a price to come with that messy shit. It's always too. a price to it. It's always a price. Like I was telling Flacco the other night during T Rail stream, bro, you you know what I'm saying? You uh getting these niggas upset that you don't know and they don't really know you, but all they go off is what you saying about a certain type of person, which they might fit the criteria. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Right. So now they on your ass and they don't even know you, but they yeah, making reaction channels. Like you he don't even know it's a hundred of reaction channels, you know what I'm saying, being made of him. You feel me? And I'm like, it's not. It's not about what you saying, it's how you saying it, bro. <laughs> yeah. Shout out like, to Invisible Guest, yeah, too. Yeah, it's, it's AD's Invisible Guest far in the back. I like that account. Like <laughs> like I was telling Dizzle, this nigga was saying if a woman raised uh, three or four sons in the same household that's a menace to society, she's, she deserves to die. And I'm like, bro, how you going to say some shit? No, for one, nobody he, deserves he to no die. Kids, huh? No, he nobody deserves to yeah, die. Look, bro. look, look. But when it comes to Flacco, you got to understand, bro. His viewpoint on things is coming from an internet aspect. You right. feel me? Before he came like to LA and start having friends out here and stuff like that, bro, he thought all, all gang members are terrible, the scum of the earth. They're the worst type of people in the world. Like his opinion on members, bro, was 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 different because he didn't have no experience. Yeah. So now that, that he's that meeting nobody. certain people, he's like, oh, that guy's cool. This guy's cool. Oh, they're people, but he still has a, a, a bunch of that still in the back of his mind that, oh, they're the scum of the earth. They're this, they're that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not taking up for him. I, I just know what it is, though. It's easy to call something out when you don't have no knowledge on it. Fact. Or if you're getting your knowledge off of YouTube. Because it's sad that we're at a point in time right now that you can find everything out about a gang on YouTube. Yeah, that's yeah. crazy. They, they got an account now Shut. that is putting niggas hood days on there. Shout out to Warren Cali. So I don't. I watched the shit though. You're right, me too. You know what I'm saying? I watched the shit. I heard there was like a, a Reddit or something that go crazy. That Reddit go crazy? Yeah, I never seen it, but oh, nigga, the Reddit, the Reddit definitely no, goes crazy. Like there is a Reddit like specifically about gang banging on some shit. No, they have a Reddit for everything, bro. Yeah, I'm like, that's crazy. Damn, man. They have a Reddit for everything. When you when I say everything, everything, like that's what it is like. But the fact that we have outside information on things that should be inside to where people can make whole documentaries about this shit. Mm-hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. yeah, it's, it's, it's getting to a point that that shit is sad. The internet changed everything. Yeah, it's sad though, bro. And you know, a lot of times, a lot of these things that people are saying or what they're going to say, they're going to look back Five, six years from now, ten years from now, and it's like, bro, it's on the internet. It's gonna be here forever. Forever. You don't want that to be your standpoint on everything, too, or you don't want to get it to the point that people are just coming to see your shit because of the drama. Right. Yeah, because now you like loving, you like loving hip hop. Yeah. You like the Zeus Network. You know what I'm saying? Nothing wrong with Zeus Network, but you feel me? As soon as you grow and you don't want to be on that no more. Your whole shit. Nobody, fall. nobody give a fuck about that. Yeah, your whole shit gonna crumble because you ain't really staying on nothing solid. Exactly. Y'all gonna grow at some point. Like it's gonna be yeah. at some point in life where you you see how uh, grow out of that. You see how J Cole uh said we talking about a little pump and all the rappers. He says uh, usually your fan oh, base yeah, has got to yeah. grow up. Yeah, exactly. And then you feel me because it's not. Yeah, because if you're talking to eighteen year olds, eventually they're gonna be twenty five. They, they don't want to transition. And everybody gonna want to transition. So. It's the same thing that's God. gonna happen. You feel me? Everybody, <laughs> yeah. rock your body. The See, that's, that's the early, that's the early morning pun. Oh, this is the pun. Y'all he got the energy. What's up, man? Hey, throw me a water pun. 
How you been, bro? I've been good. I been going up since you left Tiny. <laughs> <laughs> we was over here on some I'm on your ass. Oh, see, now, hey, oh, party here now. I know. It's over with. Party here now. I'm calling the puss together for no reason. <laughs> What's the word, y'all? Y'all didn't you didn't see me on the congregation last week? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What's up with that? Yeah, that's my nigga. I know him before y'all knew him. Yeah, so you so, <laughs> Let's get to that. So you kinda So, so why you ice him? I didn't ice him. The whole narrative. No, no, was no, like, no, no, no. You said, well, the, like like pun. The narrative is that you wanted to focus on your music and not do podcasts. Have and I they not said been doing that. They said you started a new podcast See, without the homie. Y'all ain't heard the lobby then. No, so that's the lobby. Lobby. No, that's a nice narrative. The dark narrative <laughs> okay, is Okay, we had a dark oh, narrative. You you yeah. you tried to find a way to, you know, back up out of it and start your own shit. There you go. So, so you so backed up out of it slowly, like, uh, yeah, I ain't fucking with it. But nah. you didn't say that though. Nah, that's not what happened. What happened in your opinion? What happened is what I'm Cook, doing. Cook, Drevo. What happened is what I'm doing. Shout so out, the, shout out the to my on shout though. out to my nigga Tiny. You feel me? He hosting my live show June twentieth. Don't worry about nothing. Going night crazy. Mr. Three sixty five and the homies. Yeah, go get shout your out, tickets, man. man. And that record was hard. You sent me that day. Uh, the Pony Service. That that. Oh, record. good looking yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, the Range yeah. Rover joint. Appreciate That's dope, that. man. You be doing your thing. Man, appreciate Big it. Big shout man. out to Drebo. Oh, I'm going crazy. Why you leave right Tiny, now? man? Look, 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 look. <laughs> yeah. Tiny, my nigga, man. No, no. Nah, that's what people say. That's what people say. Being nice. Yeah, that's the homie still. Hey, he going crazy, though. Shout out to the uh, late night shift with Tiny. Right. Hell yeah. He going crazy. I might have been holding him back. <laughs> nah, <laughs> see how the way that you talking? <laughs> nah, <I'm just> <laughs> I might have been holding him back. Nah, that's my nigga, man. Shout out oh, to Tiny. Oh, no, no. Yeah, bro. So, yeah, man, you got, the, you got the album out now. You feel me? Yeah, the lobby out right now, man. A little six piece to hold everybody over to the full length album with the Shut the Fuck Up remix. Yeah, crazy, okay, okay. crazy on you feel me? Uh, that's coming in June, man. I just been, I just been going crazy, man. I got a lot of things in the pipeline. I just been, just been really, uh, really locking in. Going crazy. Yeah, for real, for real. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's great. Yeah. Man. What's the string called? You started. A, a, uh, what is it called? I do got. The, I'm making an album on live stream. It's uh, called In the Lab. In the Lab. Yeah. In Bye. the Lab live studio sessions. I'm basically making an album from scratch. Literally just pop on, pop the camera on, and start playing with sounds and see where it goes. Oh, you like, be producing your own shit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Because I produce, engineer, I do everything. Oh, that's what's up. Yeah, yeah. And record yourself. Okay, yeah. engineer everything. So I be on live just kind of cooking up, playing with shit, uh, sampling some shit, whatever, just start creating and then, you know, making songs on live. And then eventually, once I get it to a point where I like it, I'm going to put it out. And then everybody who watched me create that, you know, going to have a different feeling for that music when it come out. Cool. And then you're going back to congregation. Possibly. Yeah. No, he done. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say possibly. He said it's over. Man. Possibly means mm -mm. Nah, nah, that's it's all good. God, man. We I'm going to leave you alone, man. I ain't going to give you a hard time. Me and Tiny always locked in, man. <laughs> Shout out Tiny, bro. That's my guy. Hard time. What's up, ho? Crazy, how you man. feeling, man? I'm chilling. I was, I was telling the people about the new times and how we were going to start this Oh, yeah. We're going all day time edition. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. You're going to get better energy out of me for sure because at night time, I'll be weird. It's, it's a lot of times in there. I'll be whooped, whooped too, tonight time. For sure. Yeah, I'm here though, man. I'm up in this thing, man. I, I, I'm gonna be. I'm only gonna be here to four. My daughter made honor roll, so I gotta drive out. Congrats. You know what I'm saying? She got her. Uh, Congrats, niece though. Yeah, she. They doing her award ceremony at six. So <laughs> Flacco in the chat. Shout out oh, to Flacco. Flacco. He, he said, "Dreamo, why you leave Tiny? Let's get to it." Look, <laughs> look, look, look hey, what Flacco, I said. It, you post my music, Flacco. Then <laughs> I answer your question. Hey, Flacco, call in. I'm going to let you cook. Post my music, Flacco, and then I'll answer your question. Flacco oh. going to hit you with one of them captions on his page. Yeah. For sure, this for artist sure. say he's he better than Kendrick Lamar. Sure. That nigga be putting some crazy ass comments. I think crazy. Flacco on his Nightcrawler shit now, too. Because he, be he be getting news and I don't be seeing nowhere. Starting What's fires. up with his channel, though? He should turn <laughs> into Ripple. For under he didn't get it back? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he, got, he got it back. Oh, he got, he got it back. back. Oh, he got it back? Yeah okay. Yeah. Yeah, you like can, hey hey, speaking speaking of that, I was about to invest did you in see? Up, did you see <laughs> how he was getting that sixteen? Nah, I didn't no. see that. Oh, I got. Right, I'm gonna show y'all right now, bro. How who was? How Flacco was? Oh, Flacco got Flacco. Cracking. Hey, Flacco is now Paco, bro. He's fully embraced this shit. Oh, uh, he back to Paco. 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 He Paco. is definitely Paco, Paco, Paco now. I'm gonna show y'all what Flacco <laughs> said. Look at this shit. Hold up. On one. Uh, the fuck up. Look at this shit. This is what Flacco, this is a text message between Flacco and 16. Oh, he screenshot and put it up? Uh, 16 did. 
Oh, okay. He says, you a buster, a clown of the highest order. You don't move nothing in L.A. This ain't last year, little boy. You not more tapped into me. You don't got more money than me. I can violate you every day on this internet and you wouldn't do shit. I'm a father report so I can legally do it to you when you come playing. Keep thinking you weird niggas, the toughest niggas on the planet. The internet waiting for one of you street niggas to be a victim at the hands of a civilian. And then 16 said, tapped in is crazy, bro. I'm a man. I ain't hiding behind no niggas and don't need no niggas. Never have. Yo ass a police ass bitch. Fuck you filing a report for when I ain't said shit. Oh. Uh, that's what that's what 16. Oh, you got me, you got me oh, lost. This, oh yeah, I'm thinking you talking about Adam 16. Yeah, I thought you were talking about 16 about, shot him. 16 shot him. Oh, you gotta uh, say that then. Cause I'm yeah, like, cause I'm like, nigga, I'm, like, I'm like, Adam oh. saying nigga. I'm like, he getting an Adam like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna bank his shit as soon as I see him, nigga. That's black power, nigga. <laughs> I, 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 you had me lost yeah, for a minute. No, like, I, was huh? saying, I was saying 16 shot him. Oh, okay. It's two 16s, nigga. Are they still going at it? Yes. That's like two years in running now, huh? But like nigga, did years? you see what you see how Flacco was talking to this nigga? Hey man, then look, it, it's, it's still it going up. on. He said, "Good thing you ain't see it. Just move legal while you out here, because if you drop your location, I'm making sure you see a prison cell. Since you won't let me whoop on you, <laughs> seeing you in that box with no wave grease in sight <laughs> is what I want. That's Flacco that make my ear, yeah. Hey. Oh my crazy. god, <laughs> in that box with no wave grease is crazy. <laughs> and wow. Then, wow. And then when he got his paycheck, 16 says, shout out to uh, Ripple. And then a nigga said, my channel was back. I still got more money than you. I'm still more clouded than you. Bigger channel than you. I want a life you lost. Come clean my toilet for $12 an hour, you freaking bum. Damn. <laughs> Flacco's crazy now. Yeah, well, nigga, when when you first started uh, reading, that it, nigga Flacco. When you first started, when you first started reading, and it said Flacco said, "I got more money than you." I'm like, damn, this nigga yeah. making more money than I, Adam. I, I said, like, God damn. Damn. You had me for Flacco? a minute. You had me for a minute right. for sure. Shout out to Flacco. Yeah, man. shout out to Flacco. What's my music though, nigga? <laughs> bro, yeah, Flacco, do, music, that, do that, do that, bro. But to get to have him to hear him talking like this now. He popping the shit, the homie. Hey, I know because you seen him. Niggas created a monster came over here, huh? Yeah, it's a whole different person. He now, popping man. the shit now. He, bro, he popping it. Fuck it, man, go up. Yeah, He's trying to yeah, catch right. a legal body. He yeah. let you know if you touch him, Flacco got the Draco. Man, he ain't playing legally. Legally, he did say legally. Too. Big punk nigga. <laughs> legally, that nigga said legally. Bro, if, if Flacco caught a body, bro, a legal body, bro. Oh, he going crazy. Oh, he, oh he's oh, you think his he's content out of crazy now. Yeah, he gonna go. He's he gonna, out of here. He gonna welcome all that I dumb shit he be talking about. So it's over with. He gonna have the reaction for the reaction right. yeah, that's of him cool. doing the shit. He gonna he gonna make a, a comic reenactment of the whole shit. Uh, that shit is wild, that man. That nigga gonna have millions of views too. For you know, sure. People, people gonna wanna see that shit. That's <laughs> must see YouTube. That nigga gonna wear a body cam. But let me <laughs> a body cam is crazy. But let me ask, let me ask y'all though, really, as a street person, right? Mm -hmm. How do you fight back with somebody saying basically, I'm gonna do something to you and I'm gonna call the police on you? Hold on, Flacco calling in right now. Hold on, Flacco, Paco. Right. Yo, listen, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm about to add you to this yo, shit, yo, Paco. Yo, listen, right? <laughs> Can you hear me? Yo, listen, right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. One second. My God, man. Oh, hey, listen. Go. Beer looking moisturized, my nigga. Flacco, we sent some other What? Shit, <laughs> Paco, what's the deal? What the hell? Hold on. I cannot hear you. That's some crazy ass Something shit. Something wrong with your phone, fool. Nigga said beer looking moisturized. Right. Bro. <laughs> The homie always give me compliments, man. Yeah, that nigga funny. Hold on. Flacco, I can't hear you. Say something. Yo, 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 yo. Hold on. How about now? Hold on. All right, let me add you to the uh, to the roadcaster now. Okay, it was sure. it was messed up. Or, uh... Okay, I can hear you now. Go ahead, Fargo. 
Can you hear me? Yeah. Uh huh. Paco. Yo, can can you hear me now? We can hear you now. I'm in, not right. So look, so he posted like the screenshots, right? But what he won't post, right? And I'm a send you them. You feel me? So, um, so uh, apparently, right? You feel me, right? You, you know, and he was saying like, "Yo, I'm coming up to LA, right?" Like again, talking tough and crazy, right? So wait, wait, not, 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 to, to, not to cut you off. How did this start back up again? Yeah, right. So apparently, because his channel is dead, like dude is struggling to get like a thousand views now, right? So apparently he was happy when my channel like got taken. So like he was like celebrating all day, tagging me, like doing like videos, just you know, just, like right, just digging in, right? So cool. So then I inbox him like nigga, my channel is back, you know, and but you know, like you still broke, you feel me, right? Like you still lost power and you still nobody, right? Boom. So then he started like talking tough, right? Now here's the kicker though, right? And here's what he didn't show. So he got the address to my townhome in Glendale, right? So he said, yo, I'm getting by the L.A., I'm going to pull up. Mm. I said, nigga, listen. I said, nigga, listen, bro. I'm going to meet you outside. I show, I said, bro, I'm outside right now, bro. I'm going to be outside for five hours, bro. Please, <laughs> like, please come. I triple dog dare you, nigga. Listen, listen. <laughs> Five hours. I told him, listen, I told days. 16 shot him the big bad Chicago tough guy. Nigga, if you don't show up to Flacco's town homie Glendale, use a bitch. Show up. Fuck you, show up, right? Ooh. And right, and he talked a lot, but I he mean. never came. You feel me? And I'm just saying, bro, like, listen, Wait, bro. you was outside for five hours, Paco. No. What? No, 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 no. No. <laughs> no. Like, no, 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 no. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. But though. But though, I went outside and showed him that I'm outside. Feel me? Right? So, right, like, again, I'm not a tough guy. I'm not, right? But I'm just like, bro, like. Oh, no, you a I'm tough guy now. Tired. No. I'm just tired, bro, uh, of the dudes who come on the internet to tell us they're tough just being tough by name. Look, bro, at some point, bro, we need proof. We need receipts. We need current updates, bro, on these niggas being tough. Meaning, right, all the tough niggas who I know is tough. Come on the internet, bro, and they're lovable giants, right? Feel me, right, right, right. And they don't like you. Feel me, uh, like, like here, like, uh, like here, right? So, like, AD pun, right? Y'all are dudes who are obviously tough in real life. Y'all don't show that part online. Y'all are trying to move move away from that. But somehow these bitch ass niggas who ain't never heard of fly, <laughs> right, right, uh, they fly. somehow come on the internet, right, and try to present themselves as tough. I'm saying, okay, nigga, at some point, my nigga. We can't just take y'all niggas' word for it, bro. If you tough, you have the address to my town home in Glendale. I said, pull up. It, it come. He said he was going to come. I said, okay, nigga, pull up, right? Because he thought that, like, dropping my address was going to scare me or some bullshit like that, right? I said, nigga, nigga, bro, I will meet you outside. And I kept hitting him up. And, you know, he never showed up, bro. So, like, these niggas, bro, like, bro, we just sick and tired, bro, of this tough guy act, bro. Like, we all pussy, bro. Let's be real, bro, 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 right, bro? Like, we all pussy, bro, right? I'm right? not a pussy, Flacco. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 but not you, right? For me, right, 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 <laughs> right, right? I'm, no, no, right, no, look, so me and all my ops are pussy, because, bro, we all make, <laughs> listen, bro, we all have something going for ourselves. Okay. We are all not ready to throw that shit away and do life in jail, my nigga. Right, so we all pussy, bro. Right, so, so like, you calling his bluff, bro? I'm calling his bluff and any other niggas that's with him bluff. These niggas is hoes, bro. These niggas got too much to lose. They not ready to throw it away. Stop acting like you're ready to throw it away, bro. When you're not, because again, bro, a nigga like me, bro. Again, I ain't never really been mad, bro. But I got a mad temper, bro. I mean, right, 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 bro. So like, as soon as I get to that place, bro, I don't care no more, right? So like, my whole thing is, bro, like. Why even try to pretend like you're ready to take it there when I know you a bitch? You feel me? <laughs> yeah. Damn. Talk that talk, my nigga. Paco. Damn. All right, look, look. Let me ask you, though. So if, if you was just happened to, to be in a grocery store and you just seen him on the next aisle, what is your first thought? Yeah. You crashing out? Ooh, good question. Listen, right, so, AD, right, so look. I never told him when I see you I'm going to do something to you. He's the one who's been on Clubhouse talking about when I see Flacco, I'ma slap him. He seen me and his bitch ass duck his head, tuck his tail, right, and kept walking, right. 
So like I already know he not on that, right? Right, right, because because again, after going up clubhouse and telling people when I see Flacco, I'm a smack Flacco, he see me outside before, right? And he ducked his head, cowered, and walked right past me. Right? So like these niggas, bro, they talk that shit on the internet, A B, but when they see you in person by themselves, no entourage, no street niggas, no gangs, just by themselves, bro. These niggas is not tough, and that's scientifically proven. But again, I ain't never said I'll do nothing to them. I just said, nigga, if you come playing, I'm going to defend myself properly. You feel me? Right. Hmm. But I'm just saying, so if you I'm was to run, you, if you was to run into him, and you see him and you lock eyes, what is your first instinct? <laughs> uh, Laugh at him. <laughs> you, you feel me? You fucking buster. You, 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 right? you ain't going to run up on him? You ain't going to run up on him and get off? The Paco will run up on him. No. No. no, no listen. Listen. No. AD. No, you know why, bro? Listen, bro. I'm never gonna be on the offense. Feel me, right? Right, bro. Listen, bro. Like a dusty nigga, like 16 shot him, is never gonna be the reason why I put my freedom at justice. You feel me? Never, right? But if he thinks he's tough and he wanna like show the world he's tough, bro. Again, he had the open opportunity to, do, right? Because he see me, walk past me, duck his head and kept pushing, right? Feel me? Because he was scared, right? Right, but like <laughs> I'm never gonna like, right? Feel me? Right, bro, like, I'm never going to, like, go, like, and, you know, like, to, like, attack somebody, right? Because, bro, I'm not going to, listen, I'm not going to L.A. County Jail for nothing. You feel me? It's never happening, right? So, I'm just saying, bro, like, again, and he makes sure to screenshot that and post it, right? <laughs> but, like, he didn't screenshot his threats. Hey, Paco. Hey, man, listen. Yo, man. You sound like a different nigga, man. I'm, I'm very proud of you, bro. Just hand me your candle, nigga. Yo, 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 yo. Uh, listen, man. Definitely, man. Yo, also, too, man. Bro, Drebo, bro. Like, that's... I'm listen, bro. Me, bro, hey, listen, bro. <laughs> I heard that Drebo... Listen, man. I heard that Drebo signed like a record deal, bro. And so tiny sayonara. <laughs> I said, nah. Man. I said, nah. That's not cap. Drebo, man. I said, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. wait. If you wait, 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 pause, bro. Huh? Go ahead, go ahead. Sayonara. Now listen, I said, hold on, because I heard, right, you feel me, that Drebo was trying to do the content shit, you feel me, while negotiating, you feel me, like a, a new record deal. As soon as the record deal came, he told the figures and said, nigga, I need to cut this shit no more. I'm done. See you, <laughs> tiny. <laughs> and I'll be real, Drebo, bro, like, I fuck with you. You a real nigga. You my brother. You my twin, my nigga, but... I'll be real, people, man. Like, you just tiny wrong, man. I'll do it wrong. I'll do it wrong. From your name. Bro, listen, bro. Man, listen, bro. I heard Dreamo sign for 500000 bro. You feel me, right? right? Uh, again, though, That's I'm not, not enough, talking about new though. music. Again, I'm talking about 500000 four album deal, 360, and Dreamo ain't even cut tiny, man. Like, you feel me? <laughs> A $3,000 check, man. This nigga crazy. There you go, no check. Cole. <laughs> nah, you're Wait. Like, okay. hey, Paco, am I lying, Drebo? When you post my music, then we can have this conversation. Wait, am I lying, no, Drebo? Come on, man. Yeah, you're listen. Lying. Oh. You for sure. Oh, okay, what am I lying about? <laughs> First, I ain't signed no record deal. Second, 500K ain't enough. Third, I ain't leave Tiny hanging. Wait, oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. I, I, wait, the Drebo did. Okay. So. <laughs> okay. Are you saying right now live yeah, on community again? Wait, 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 wait. Are you saying right now live on community that you ain't get a check for that music recently? Ooh, a check for music recently? That wasn't no label. No, 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 no. Ooh, huh? that wasn't no label deal. And no, and that check. Wasn't you wait, wait, wait. So you though. did get a check, Dream Bro. I can check. Oh, oh I mean, exactly. My toes on my bro. Oh, bro, I don't be lying, Dream nigga. Bro. I don't be lying, bro. I'm telling you right now, bro. He's listen, to bro. The narrative from when you came on. The I'm telling you right, bro. <laughs> bro. I'm not your AD, bro. Your AD, bro. AD, bro. I told you, bro. I don't yeah, be lying, it, bro. It ain't gonna work. Listen, for me. you lying. <laughs> but wait, 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 wait. Pause. You just said though that. Yes, you got a deal, but again, I'm saying I, though. I, right? I never so said I got a deal. He said he got a check. I'm and telling you, yes, that's what I'm stuff. talking about. Listen though, listen though, it was a huge check. And I'm saying, if <laughs> Dreamo was dedicated was to the content, again, I'm saying Dreamo was dedicated <laughs> to that content shit, right, prior to that check coming in. 
As soon as that check coming in, Virgil said, "Nigga, bro, why the fuck am I streaming?" As soon as I get that check, right, right, right. Like, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> nah, hey, you know what's nah, funny, Flacco? I had to check. I had to check coming before we even start. Well, right when we start, when we was doing the congregation. So, how much you give Tiny? That he had nothing to do with the check. That didn't come. That's out. crazy, man. Wow. Wait, what you mean? <laughs> That's crazy, bro. That was bro, music. That's your partner, man. Like, you feel me? You could have said, bro. here's some chili, you know what I'm saying, to continue the show without me. Yeah, well, but why'd you start his I podcast, did, Rebo? I, I, when, I, when, I, when I stopped doing it, he also got the whole channel. That's a check. That's more. But that's not check. enough, though, Drebo. You crazy. He, made, he doing the more numbers. That, he doing numbers right now. Say Yo, look, Drebo, listen, that. bro. No, 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 no. Hey, hey, listen, though, bro. Quiet is kept, bro. You feel me? Listen, YG kept. started a podcast for his homies. And he say, say, yo, you know what, brother? Hey, listen, I just got a fat deal. You feel me, right? Here's a check for the podcast. You feel me? And let the homies eat. I'll be real, Dribble. The streets was expecting you, bro. Right, like... Plaka, how much you? How much you think I got? The streets, the streets wasn't you. expecting Dribble to do how that. How much you think I got, Flacco? You just said, bro, 500K ain't enough. So over 500,000. No, that's for a record deal. You talking about 360 record deal, all kind of shit. I think it's crazy. Hey, listen, bro. Exactly. I no, heard that you got 500,000. Listen, I heard you got 500,000. <laughs> but if you say you get 500,000, three bro. Hey, Flacco, I believe it because he came in. He gave me like 15 hats, bro. That's like big production, bro. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, dude, we supposed to be. I'm going to be real, bro. Tiny ain't never got no 15 hats, my nigga. Oh, hey, Tiny was working, bro. That's crazy. crazy. Flacco, look, look, look. look, look, look. <laughs> He came with all type of presents, bro. Damn, y'all, y'all just Socks. Y'all, oh y'all man, look, look. cold nigga. That's, hey, for, that's for the room too. You feel me? Nah, look, that's for AD. Look, wow. y'all really gonna do me like that? That shit crazy. Shout bro. out my nigga Tiny Man. He wow. All I know is he got wait, a lot of wait, merchandise wait, wait. in the production, bro. <laughs> y'all got y'all. Crazy. Your hey, Tiny Man right went to house for AD is crazy. <laughs> Shopthehomies.com. Bro, yeah. <laughs> help me, help me get some money. The homies. Hey, talk about, I ain't getting, so. Let me see. We order the homies.com. Hey, Flocko, Flocko trying to cook. He's trying no, to cook shop the dream, homies. Shop the homies.com. Shop the homies.com. Trying to cook you right now. Yeah, yeah, Flocko <laughs> trying to get me because he know a narrative because he came on the congregation. So he trying to use that narrative, but it's weak and watered down, as Smack would say. Hey, listen, I'll be real, bro. Tiny listening, but Tiny right now was <laughs> listening. I talked to Tiny, so don't worry yeah, about yeah, that. Tiny right now, like me and bro, Tiny communicate. Y'all narratives ain't gonna work. Have you on a comfortable chair? Hey, me That's crazy. T- me and Tiny communicate. Y'all narratives ain't gonna work. Yeah, shop the homies. Have you like? Down. Hey, Flocka, why you don't post my music though? That's my first question. And then my second you question is why you too. why you try to act like you ain't see Keem in the airport, nigga? Keem tall as hell. You Keem- know you uh, tall as hell. Bro, listen. <laughs> Yo, listen. So one, listen. So, listen. So one, hey, listen, bro. Listen. If you send me something to post, man, bro. No, that's cap. It's going that's cap. Check your DM. Send to him right now. Check your DM. Because last time, last time you said some, sh- you was on community too, and I heard you saying some shit about the way it goes. This before uh, O three Greedo got on your ass. I DM'd <laughs> oh, you. I said, you I, said you I said, fuck with me, and you ain't even look at the wait, 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 you wait, um, me. wait, um, so I know it's in there. Wait, wait, um, got him. Look at what's your ID? Ah, uh, <laughs> got you. Wait, what's your ID though? The homie Drevo. <laughs> Oh, uh, see, uh, okay. The homie Drebo. I- I'm typing in Drebo. I think so. This is right. okay. okay. <laughs> is it, the is homie Drebo, I. Right. Right. You probably got a DM in there right now. Did he message you or what? Mm-hmm. Let me check. Man, bro, listen, bro. January 16, you got to tune in. Exactly. But he never told me to post. Yeah, you didn't tell him to post. That's all you put. You said tune nah, in. I said you got to tune in. Tune in to what? I mean, fuck. Yeah, yeah, I was tuned in. You feel me? Nigga, you I was tuned in. I ain't never nigga, seen you. Three I months late. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, three months late. Oh, well, you can't hold him accountable. You never January seen January 6th. I sent him. I literally sent him. Look at this. You can see the proof. I sent him actual posts with music on there. Yeah, Flacco. But you said, though, you got to tune in. You feel me? Oh, he sent you three posts. Since you got to tune in. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, you feel me, right? So then why uh, you again. ain't responding? Let me know you tuned in. I never seen it though. You feel me? But though, listen. <laughs> you feel me? But though, listen though. No, but though, hey, bro. Listen, bro. If you want me to post anything, bro, listen, just say your flocko. Post this, bro. Bro, listen. It's gonna go up within an hour. I promise you. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna send you some shit right now. All right, all right, feel me, man. All right, your facts. Put on the two, listen. 
Now, facts. Now, plus two. Listen, bro. That Kim narrative got to stop. Bro, you didn't see you. At, you saw that nigga. Don't it man. has to stop. Feel me? I'm at the airport, comfortable, head down, right? Half on the thing, <laughs> right? Again, he was recording me right now. Also, too, by the way, right? Look, folks be like, yo, Flacco, why was you laughing like that, bro? It's the airport. Ain't no guns where I'm at, right? Feel me, right? So I'm good. So, right? So, like, my head is down. Um, you know, I'm just chilling. I didn't see Kim. Now, as soon as I looked up and looked back, oh, I said, oh, go oh, Kim, tell me, right? So, like, I did, like, a, you know, like, a very quick double back, and then I seen Cena's Kim, bro. Listen, trust me, bro. Why would I be, like, ducking Kim? You know we watched it, too, right? <laughs> Tiny in the chat, yeah. too. It's Shout her. out my nigga Tiny, man. It's Shout her. Out Tiny. Shout out Tiny in the chat, nigga. Hey, Flacco, I just sent you up to post. The lobby two out right now. Fuck with your boy, man. <laughs> Hey, 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 man, hey, listen up, man. Hey, listen, man. AD, man, listen. I'm going to head out, all right? But, hey, listen, man. Rebo, I want to see you and Seti Nash, man, feel me, uh, in the same room, man, because y'all look identical. <laughs> 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 hey, Flacco. Flacco. Uh, you funny, What's up? Hey, is the offer still on the table for uh, King for 5000 Bro, listen. Bro, <laughs> I told King, man, listen. I told King, bro. Come and take my 5K and leave the Apollo and anything else. Wow. And then King went ahead and started a whole new podcast. I said, like, come on, my nigga. Like, like, why would you choose, like, to start, to, to start like, a, a new podcast, you feel me? Because you saw you. On a network you, that you don't own, you feel me? I'm supposed to come in here, you feel me? Because he, he, uh, he saw you in last class, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's not true. Wait, listen. That's hey. not true. I was five seats behind two. How, how do you tell niggas sitting in first class that you're going to give him an offer, bro? Yeah, that's that's. And you in last class. I would have got another plane. Man, but that's schoolboy Q money, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what y'all mean? <laughs> Debo, is that schoolboy Q money or what? I don't know nothing about him. I don't know nothing about him. You gonna fuck up his record deal? He just signed for him. Yeah, you feel me? Black over here. He ain't even tried yet. Black over here telling people I'm signed already. Damn, bro. Hey, yo. Hey, you funny, Black Hey, how much? How much would you sign Jubo for? For your, you know, what I'm saying for a show. I'll be real, bro. For me, bro, like a solid two hundred and fifty dollars, man. Feel me, like, oh god. Damn. Oh, 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 oh. What he said? Oh, what he said? Damn. I'm gonna throw my own show. Wait, what you mean though? It's two fifty a week. A week? Nah. Yeah, what? Time, bro, a G ball a month bro, for one to podcast. For, for for one podcast. Right, how many, how many, many hours each show, Flacco? A podcast is like two hours. A hundred and twenty-five dollars per hour. That's like. Bro, nigga, bro, you like a doctor off that salary, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's 125 yeah. hours. You're yeah. a doctor. <laughs> right? Yeah, Doug, Shout out to you, yeah. Flacco. All right, all right. Yeah, That's my man, shit, hey, man. though, man. All right, Paco, nigga. Peace out, man. All, all right, nigga. That nigga crazy. That nigga funny as hell. That nigga say he living like a doctor, can't. <laughs> oh, my God. 125 hours, bro. 150 like dollars. You like a doctor. Nigga, that, oof. All right, let's talk about some shit, though, man. Yeah, that's crazy. That nigga wild. That nigga crazy. Let's talk about this. This is fucking wild right here. It's a burglars make history after hitting one of the biggest licks the city in L.A. has ever seen. Over $30 million was stolen at a money storage facility. 30 M. 30. They should have called me first. Huh? They said thieves came up on much as $30 million in on Easter Sunday, Berkeley in Los Angeles, money storage facility, and one of the largest cash heists in the city history. The burglary occurred Sunday night at an unnamed facility in the Silmar area of the San Fernando Valley where the cash from businesses across the region is handed and stored. Damn. The burglars were able to breach the building wow. as well as the safe where the money was stored. The operators of the business who police did not identify did not discover the massive theft until they opened the vault Monday. That is a crazy lick right there. They got something to do with it. The higher ups did it. Whoever opened the vault got something to do with 30 it. 30 million. I just sent on thirty million dollars. He let a whole surreal, day go by. It's a real GTA heist. That is crazy. That's that's the higher ups did. Nigga, if I gotta protect thirty million, I'm checking on that shit every hour. And it's nigga. tax every season. Every twenty what? minutes. Every twenty minutes, because who gets in trouble though? You need round the clock. Because uh, who the fuck knows where the where money storage is? Who gets in exactly. trouble for losing that money? <laughs> you, they would have to know who. That's where where the spot is. They probably look at the how to get place. in. Nigga, it ain't no way, bro. Nigga, how they don't have 
many security guards with burners that's they not do. surrounded by it. Watching that 24-7. That's who takes the money. <laughs> yeah, Allegedly. <exactly. laughs> no, y'all never saw that movie uh, with a nigga that worked inside the... Uh, the um, the Loomis Fargo shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, nah, what is that? I, it was it was like the biggest heist in the world on some shit. Yeah, and they did an in, uh, an inside job. It was like I should be an inside job for that much money, bro. It's yeah. always inside sure job. for thirty yeah. m's. And then for them to not know till the next morning. Inside job. Gotta be right. inside. I ain't like no. I ain't like no niggas off the street going to do it. Mm-mm. Hell it's, no. But what? All right, what they do with that money though? Like where, like because that money, that no, money not recorded, what they do, right? But like, you gotta go, you, you gotta go, you gotta go get rid big, of that shit. Yeah, that's gotta, a lot of it. You, you gotta like, go, you gotta go. Thirty million, huh? You feel me? You that's easy to get caught with, you gotta, right. you gotta get rid of that shit. I, I'm, I, you can't I'm spend pretty it for sure a long if time. you, you can If you plan to, to uh, steal thirty million dollars, you have an exit plan. True. You no, have an exit strategy. Got you. Yeah, facts. They always catch niggas though. I mean, not always. Take that back. Nah, they don't always catch that back. Take that back. But in today's technology, they gonna fuck around find who did though. It's too much, bro. Come on, bro. Cars, street. Y'all saw that shit where they got uh, with the meth heads, where they could tell who, what house you going to. Did y'all see that shit on the internet? No, no. what's up? Oh, the yeah, the, like heat sensor shit. Yeah, on the street lights. And it show how many times yeah. like the crack heads. For the meth heads. What, what door they yeah. going to? It, it literally was yeah. like a infrared, what? It was like an infrared thing, and it showed just footsteps going to the same. Oh, house. that's how they found out which house was a crack spot and yeah, shit. Exactly. Like. Because it, it could count a crackhead how many times it went to that door today. Yeah, that was crazy. And it would show like niggas like 54 times went to this one door. Wow. They like, oh, that's the house. That's the trap house. But I'm saying like the technology today is so advanced, bro. I feel how like. How are you going to get away? I feel yeah. like even outside, it got to be something. There's no way you got all that money and y'all niggas just lost track of everything. Yes, that's 30 that's million. Right. That's too much money, bro. That careless, too. Unless the government did it. Nah, somebody's saying insurance claim. Come on, bro. It is tax season. No, no average Joe off the street could pull a heist off like that. No, you know what I'm saying? It has to be some inside people. They, they had like a nigga. blueprint of the whole spot for sure. It's always an inside job when it's that much money. Like you got to have somebody inside that know that shit. Like clockwork. Too. You know what I'm saying? What if they What if they put somebody in there to work for 20 years and then waited 20 years that's just to that's worth, 30 that's million? That's worth it to wait for that one moment. 20 huh? million. I mean, 30 million, 20 years. I might be shit. If somebody tell you that, hey, look, you got to work here 20 years, but you, you gonna get that 30 years. You gonna get 10 of them, 10 of the 30. Nah, that's split up between other people. But bro. the thing is, you got you got to go somewhere where you ain't never coming back to America, nigga. I, I'm going. Mm-hmm. To they're gonna Jamaica. track you, you down if it's here in the woods, sure. Bumble Cloud. <laughs> where, where, would you, where would you go? <laughs> where would you go to? I'm going to Jamaica. You're going to have to find me Favorite. on that little ass island. What? I was damn about to do that in regular life. <laughs> <laughs> 30, 10 million up. I'll, I'll be showing you about it. No, here. but I'm if just I'm saying, like, like, what's the point of having a, a, a large lump sum of money like that if you really can't use it like that? Shit. You I, get what I'm saying? I Amazon to somebody else's house. You said Amazon. You go pick it up. They Amazon. got Amazon Jamaica probably. Amazon Prime Jamaica. They got Amazon everywhere. That's Someone they got figured. Amazon Jamaica. That's how they gonna catch your ass. Amazon right. Prime. He gonna be Jamaica. waiting. He be waiting for a box. And they gonna get him. <laughs> Bumble clock. <Right. laughs> Bumble clock. Put your hands up. Open that box oh, up. Like, oh, oh, it's gonna be a no. Open the door. Go, oh, open the door. They gonna order a statue. It's gonna be a fucking federal <laughs> agent out there. Box. Order nigga. this box. It's gonna have some handcuffs in that Bumble clock. This tree ball. Hey, as soon as you take that, as soon as you take. Put your plan. Hands up. Your door get kicked in. Boom! Damn. <laughs> no, no, God, that motherfucker just some handcuffs and a suit. No, it was a show that I was watching, bro. It's called Page I, 2026 uh-oh. FaceTime. I almost got away with it. Have you ever seen that show before? Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they like uh, I heard of it. They know. go through the whole. Some thing of them people. Page yeah. 2026 really FaceTime video. Away. Get together, my boy. My baby mama, hold on. Some of them, some of them, T. They really could have got away. No, some of them, bro, they will go, they will get away for 10 years, bro. So it's about yeah. people that actually got caught? Yeah, yeah they, they end up getting they caught, get caught on caught some stupid After they, tell, they did some shit? Then they tell the story of how they got caught. Uh, some of them be free for like 20 years. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like this one guy, he was gone, bro. He left for, for, for 10 years. His mom was like finding a way to wire him bread for 10 years, bro. Uh, and he, like, he came back just like one day. And they damn, was waiting for him to come back. Crazy. After 10 years. That's crazy. And they tell you like, they tell you how they broke out. Cause like half of these people, they be breaking out of prison. It'd be crazy. Yeah. yeah it was one guy I seen on there, he broke out of prison twice. People be switching their whole and they identity. They get caught up off the shit. dumbest shit too. No, it's dumb. It's dumb oh, stuff. I went back to my hometown for two days. Small you, shit. Like, bro, it's always a small shit that get motherfuckers caught, bro. Every time. 
Like, nigga, why would you go back, bro? Gone for 20 nah, years. No, but like, if you see a lot of them people that go for a long time, they go to another country and they be like, man, I can't do this shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? They be like, I can't do it. I want to go back home. And that one tiny little slip up, that's why I said, is that amount of money worth it if you're not able to live comfortably anymore? Because these people, bro. Because yeah, yeah, you they, always going to watch over your shoulders. Yeah, that's right. what I'm your saying. You always going to have to watch over your shoulders. You ain't, you, you're ain't. not going to really be able to connect. And th- this one guy, bro, he was he kept moving. True. He kept getting new families, changing just his the name. The mental part of that is you feel be me? Crucial. Like I definitely wouldn't want to live like that. That's all. Nah, yeah. that's the not. Mental, that's the not mental worth part it. is crucial, but I don't know. Thirty million, I might go ahead and get my own island. Yeah, my own sure government. You, you think but, you can get your own island and government for thirty million? Shit, maybe. Like everything, <laughs> like everything sounds good. Called? You can get a little bullshit nah, island, nah. but nah. I, I mean, you want to stay on a bullshit island with thirty million? I feel you though, because the mental part. You is ain't trying to get caught, though. right? You can. Because like, help. how you gonna sleep at night? You ain't, ain't trying to get caught. Get no comfortable sleep. Why not go somewhere where where nobody knows your name <laughs> or nobody's there? <laughs> nobody's where there. everybody <laughs> just you and the goddamn your go name. volleyball go castaway edition. You right? That's what. Yeah, be over there fucking tennis balls and shit. Nah, nigga. Give me my 30 million. Nah, my girl got to come got, with me too. You got to get you got to get no, everything. No, your girl, they're going to be on her first. Girl, they got you got to get everything it's only imported us two on in. The island. So we good. You so you can you can you can just live you and your girl on an island, not around nobody else. For sure. I'm out. Just yeah. you and your girl? Y'all going to get yeah, on each other's yeah, nerves. Nigga life going to be boring as hell. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's not worth it, bro. Wait, wait, on an island? Just Y'all got 30 million. It's just him and his girl. It's just him. Yeah, life going to be boring. You think so? We can't. We can. We can just. What are you gonna stick. do? You gonna get tired of fucking her, bro? You probably get tired Whoa. of everything. Yeah. You gonna get tired of fucking her, like? It's gonna be like that's uh, the only thing to do. Cause there ain't nothing else to do. Just yeah, that's yeah, like yeah, all yeah. you gonna that's do. That's what I'm saying. What are you gonna do? Fish. Build you gonna get tired build of fishing? Boat. How much trout you gonna eat? <laughs> <laughs> Learn how to make a fire. <laughs> Dummy <laughs> trout. Just like every every day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Hell no. Nah. Nigga be like, I want a McDonald's cheeseburger. Like, what? I know. I'm probably too conditioned at this point to just yeah. That's what I'm saying. So is it worth taking that much money to go to another country <laughs> nah, and live like nah, that? Nah, just from the, I want the a mental McDonald's part. cheeseburger. Yeah. I need, That's how I nigga I need me a good night's sleep. Somebody said game bang on these feet. Armani Douglas. I need yeah, me, I definitely need me a good night's night. sleep. Yeah, you know what I mean? I need me a good night's sleep. I can't do it. Definitely got to go to sleep. That's what I'm saying. Nigga on the island, and you're not sleep, uh, sleeping comfortably because you worried about them might possibly come exactly. over Exactly. And I ain't going to have no, a bed because there ain't going to be no electricity on the island. So it ain't worth it then? Yeah, it ain't worth it. I got you. I'm it sound good. good. It like, oh, sound good. People, though. when they think millions, you're thinking, oh, I got millions. I can do what I want the way that I want to do it. You can't do that. Hey, I heard a GPS. What was that? That's what I, uh, I heard one, too. Uh, my I daughter, I got, oh, you. Okay. I got it. That shit's like two and a half hours. Ooh. Where you where you gotta go? Riverside? Damn near. Yeah. Somewhere you, around here. Get you a cold playlist. Cold play. I'm gonna listen to that Drebo. Yeah, go ahead. Mm-hmm. The lobby. Well, it's only there. six songs, right? Yeah, you get seven. You got to play. You got to play that but shit. I, yeah, I, I, I got twenty five minutes too, though. That's huh? Hey, one time I, I was I drove from uh, L. A. up to Portland. This was last summer, actually. Uh-huh. I played my 365 plays. That motherfucker, like, 15 hours of music. I ain't changed not one song the whole drive. Oh, that's yeah. cool. I was like, that's kind of crazy. Just let it just let it roll. Yeah. Road trip. One song? Road trip, Dream One song or hear the same song for the whole ride. I was like, Damn, you I made that list yourself? Songs? Yeah, yeah, playlist. In oh, that's I, got, I got, I got a list like that. Yeah, I was like, but that's some, crazy. When I, when I like a new song, I can listen to the same song back back to back for probably two whole days straight. Nothing else. Facts. Back can, to back. I can do yes. that when I make a for song. A road, like a road a... trip to Portland? I'm just saying. I can listen to if I If I find a brand new song that I like. On a road hey, trip to Portland, you can listen to it back to back. Back to back. Nigga. Yes. If I like the song like that. It's very I, seldomly I, I, that I happens though. I call no, Cap. I'm being for reals. I call Cap, Drevo. I mean, I ain't gonna lie. If I, if if I, I call if song, I call Lexi song, right now. Back to back. If I call Lexi right now. How long was that drive? 15 hours. 15 hours. No, no, no. 15 hours. Mm, yeah. no, no. A Vegas trip, yes. <laughs> oh, Vegas. Fo- nah, Fo is a lot too, though, for the same song. Nigga. I can listen to the same song, bro. Bro, that's cap. Fo is crucial. Bro, that's how I am. I burn the song out after two weeks. 15 hours. No, you I just said a Vegas trip, yes. Not 15 hours. So, nah. four hours. Four hours, I can listen to the same song. Same song on same, repeat. Same song. No phone call. Wait, if you you drive into? No, no phone said, calls. No, it's, it's, it's regular shit in between. I'm saying no phone calls. No so, phone calls is different. So you driving, stopping for gas, 
and then get come right back, back in the car and play the same song? Bro, when I like I a song yeah. for almost a whole month, bro, as soon as I get in the car, I'm putting that song on. I like can do it driving, if it's a song that I made, I'm Every time I like enter the car, I'm putting that song on, bro. Psycho. That's how is that a psycho? <laughs> how is that a psycho? The fact that you can listen to another song for four hours straight on repeat. I ain't mean, right, bro. But it's if I really, really like the song. I need to make a song you really like so I get these streams. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm trying to think. What was the last song? I, the the last song I liked, like, like that, and I was playing that shit back, like back to back all day was the pre gram shit, the uh, Tati song. Oh, uh, where? I was just playing that shit back to back. Back to back. Mm. Alexis was like, I'm tired of this song. I'm like, that's, that's just how I am. I don't know. Damn. Nah, fuck with yeah, it. Yeah, I ain't doing that. I got about, I could go like, Back to back like three times. I can start over three times. And I'll for the whole day. I'm saying like if I'm riding in a car. Somebody said I'm special ed for that. Yeah. If I'm riding in a car, I can start over again. Like, oh, this shit bang. I can start over again. Bang. And I like, I got to go to something different. Yeah. I can't just keep riding on repeats of the same song over so and how over. So how many over. times you listening to Havoc song? Um, shit, probably like, you know. My hormones keep bumping. Probably like 10 times in a row. Drake, you know what Havoc is? No, but I seen the clip. Like I can get you a verse for the low. I seen a clip. I get you a verse for the low. Long <laughs> beach. Why you laugh? Why you laugh? What's up? Are, are, are you with, are you with Pam for features? Verse what does that laugh low. about? Are you with Pam for features? Um, not at this stage right now. I mean, I think I would, but like for me, it's like I like building. So it's like me, I want it to be like we build. You like that's building? Short, that, that's yeah, short to say. Build. I'm not paying for no feature. It's not even just that I won't pay for a feature. You like building? But it's like I'm working with people that. I fuck with that we building together too. So it's like, 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 you like leaving shit that you building or? <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Bam! Be cold. Set yourself up so now. So it's about Havoc. What was you saying about Havoc? <laughs> <laughs> he said he got, a, he got a verse for you for the low. Shout out to Havoc, man. Shout out to Havoc, wherever you, you know at, man. Shout out to <laughs> Long Beach, where you from? That, that, that shit been stuck in my hey, head. That nigga's song be catchy, no, so, huh? we, we go dumb. Uh, you know, y'all can't fuck with the Ace Pit. Yeah, that's y'all can't Did y'all drop that yet? Pit. He dropping it Friday. Oh, okay, okay. He going all platforms or what? Yeah, he going all platforms. Yeah, shout out to that nigga. Go crazy. Have you ever paid for a feature before? Um, nah, I've never paid for a feature. You gotta be, you gotta take a record super serious to pay for a feature. Like, to pay somebody for a feature at an up, like when you're on your come yeah, up stage, you know what I mean? like, you either gotta really like that artist, even if it's $400, fun, like, you really gotta like that, that artist. Is that you know him I mean? right there, Mr. H. Havoc? Yeah, Horns Mr. Chat. H. Havoc. Horns oh, in the chat. Yeah, but yeah, you, you, yeah. Gotta, you gotta really like the person you're paying, like. Or you gotta have some kind of crazy plan behind it, cause yeah. it, you might pay five thousand, ten thousand. No, nah, that's when you get with a label or street money. Yeah, like, that's different. Street money or a label, you're paying five, ten. But a <laughs> but regular, it, average, nine to five working person paying five thousand dollars for a feature is crazy. It's wild, but I mean, shit, somebody might do it. But it's a niggas like nine to five people like they could typically make like the thousand range. Yeah, they oh, can yeah, do a thousand, fifteen hundred. Yeah. yeah. Tax time come up, they could do some more. Yeah, like thousand, but nigga paying five. That's crucial. For for a nigga on to come up and pay five, it gotta be like nigga, little baby. Yeah, <laughs> if, if you on to come be, up, you know what I'm saying? If you, it you ain't got be money like Drake, that. Drake, damn near. Yeah, like, I got. But I got no shit gonna go. But it go hand in hand too, though, because like if you on to come up, still sometimes, bro, that feature money, nigga, that'd be the. Help pay the damn bills and shit, and that's part part you that part that and part like there's other ways to utilize that money. It's like oh, I could go pay this thousand here for the feature or a thousand here for the PR, or I could put that thousand into some Instagram ads, and it might be more beneficial down the road. For and what nine to five? Fuck all that you're talking about. I ain't doing none of that. No, I need to get some food. Oh well, <laughs> yeah, that's part too. I need yeah, to pay yeah. with this rent. I was you know I was down so bad one time, nigga. I charged a nigga seventy five dollars for a first, bro. Yeah, man. I mean, shit. Hey, but I, I needed the money back then. He like, he like that. Running. I told a nigga two fifty. He said, "Man, I got seventy five. I was like, shoot Fuck it, it. <laughs> shoot that <laughs> shit, man. Right. When you at that stage, I gotta do what I gotta do, not? man. When you at that was stage, was that a recycle verse? No, it wasn't. No, <laughs> no, nah, nah, he ain't gonna do that. I ain't never did recycle. When verse you at that life. stage where you of some value to the people, like that beginning stage when they, like when people start hitting you up, hey, how much for a verse? You don't know Running. what to tell them. No. Yeah. You be like, uh, and shit. And you don't want to say nothing too hot at throw ball. <laughs> yeah, be like, they be uh, like, uh, yeah, facts. That's uh, 300. <laughs> and you be like, all right, I got 150. You be like, all right, shoot it. <laughs> yeah. Hey, that's true. <laughs> when somebody asks you for a feature, though, do you ask them, like, what's your budget, though? Nah, me, I be like, send me the record first. So if you got okay. a record in mind, send me the record. Because if I don't like the record, I ain't going to do it anyway. Okay. 
So it's like for me, I'll be like, send me the Wait, record. so you don't like it? You want to do it? No, nah, not really. Shit, I used to get some shit. <laughs> There's a way to the money. Well, part what? Cause I, I've done songs that I ain't really like that, like that before. And I'm terrible just like, terrible songs. I Nigga. I don't like that. And do the video. Carry the song. Uh. the video. That's what's crazy. <laughs> and the boys to be like, stop it. I'm like, bro, why I'm do you like, keep doing this shit? I'm like, I need money. <laughs> <laughs> bro, the song would be so terrible. I'm like, why do you keep doing this shit? Bro, it's different when it's survival, though, bro. Golly. It's funny I can laugh at this shit now, but Punch yeah. tell me all the time, like, bro, you're watering your shit down. And I'm like, bro, what am I gonna do? You watering that yeah. shit. Down. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I need this, I need the 75. This is bro, this is gonna Go find you help a fat me. bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. doing that too. It wasn't enough. <laughs> You sell yourself short in the bedroom. You you charge a bitch seventy five dollars for dick. Right. How you charging seventy five for a verse and seventy five for dick? They like, both was weak. <laughs> what is wrong with you, bro? Like get together. Oh, you funny, man. Oh yeah, bro. I was yeah. I was in some. I was in some videos. I was like, ah, you know it ain't there. I'm a blow bitch. Where you no. Nigga, that shit. Yeah, yeah. Them good times though, man. Good times. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hey, Jibo. So right now, I'm like sure. you know, if I want to buy a verse, you ain't got to say your price, everybody. I was gonna ask you. <laughs> you charging? I'm in a, oh, if you like you yeah, yeah, yourself? Yeah, yeah. If I'm like, oh, we're gonna put something together. Because Damn, I, feel like, I feel like I feel like nah, I would I wouldn't charge <laughs> fun. I ain't gonna lie. You ain't gonna never make it to the freestyle shit now. He gonna hold that. Cause I got a grudge now. <laughs> he said we can work something out. Well, you no, said he, he wasn't saying that. He wasn't saying that. I know what you were saying. I was like, I was like, like, I was like shit. <laughs> I felt now I know how you felt when OGZ said he'd charge you. Oh shit! <laughs> nah, I think OGZ like, was right uh, next to AD. Like yeah, I'm all about value. I didn't ask for it. If I see value in it, I'm fucking with it. There you go, smart man, Drebo. And you still feel bad about like because OGZ just gave a lefty gun play a verse. That's dope. Do you feel like, damn? No. Not as a slightest. Why would, why would I care? Slightest. Bro, why would I care? Hey, man. Just ask him. <laughs> this is so stupid. I'm just asking. Just asking. Why does it always go back to OGZ, yo? Uh, oh, y'all trying to say he's the only person that's ever denied me a feature? Because that's the one person who ever tried to charge you for a verse. But I didn't I didn't ask him, though. But now, if I asked you him. You actually were shocked when he said it. We ain't, got, you, we ain't got to stay on this you too asked long. Him, you asked him what he charged you, right? But you didn't actually ask for I didn't for a ask verse. him for a verse, though. Right, right. That's what I'm saying. Nobody I ever asked told me, like, I'm going to charge you. Okay, so. Because I feel like having that mind, I have a relationship with that person enough that's that I can ask, ask the them for that. Place. Having that mind state, nobody ever asked you to mm -hmm. finally hear one person who you feel like, I know him. We don't, we're not close, but you know how it be sometimes, like, I know of you, so I'm going to look out. Yeah, but I, I, I know you're on the grind. I don't come up. You're gonna. Look I out. don't feel our relationship was there for me to expect a free verse from him. You get what I'm saying? I know you're on the grind. <laughs> hold on, Chris. hold on, hold on. That's it. Have it. Sis, AD said he. Wait, he said what? The chest said have it. Sis, AD said he. He's gonna be on the X Pen Remix. Uh, yeah. look, look, it's fucked. It's fucked up too, bro. Like, if if I can like ask a Buster Rhymes for a verse and he send it to me or who? Not message. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. Yeah, like somebody like Buster, bro, or Tory Lanez or Wiz, and they say here, I'd be like, you got a verse? You can get a verse from Tory right now? No, not now. Wait on it. <laughs> hey, but look, I ain't cool. <laughs> Wait, come on, relax. Hey, look. So right now, y'all got the record. Are y'all gonna shoot a video for that? I want. If to. you want to, yeah, I want to. I That's hard. Yeah, yeah you be doing some dope videos too. Nah, I, appreciate I agree. That. Yeah, y'all should shoot one. Yeah, I'm. A, uh, I want. I want to put that together for sure. I want to bring you out on the show if you're available. Yeah, just bring some. Oh, the congregation. Bring some oxtails. Yeah, I'm should, coming. You should go on the congregation for too. sure. Just but I'm talking about the live show hosted by my nigga Tiny. Shout out oh, to Tiny. Oh, okay. Tiny you pay, are you paying them? Show. Yeah. Relax, bro. Look at you. You asking too many questions. That's nah, Flacco um, questions, man. Yeah. Well, why you asking Flacco questions? My bad. Are you, so are you paying them? No, I'm messing with you. Yeah, hey, look, so <laughs> Tiny hosting it? That's dope. Yeah, uh, yo, Shout out to Tiny, man. Hosting yeah, Somebody said, open up, go for me. Let's get this chili you know, for AD. <laughs> Let's get this chili. <laughs> this nigga. He said, go for me. Let's get this chili going. <laughs> Shit, I'll take it. Hey, whatever happened to the money for the go for me you made for, uh, for, uh, for, uh, Seabiscuit? Remember you made a go for me? <laughs> Nobody oh, donated. Nobody Damn. donated. Damn. Damn. Not one person, I don't think. That's crazy. That's crazy. That, that's so stupid, too. Uh, 
<laughs> say what? Oh, uh, make it, making that shit. That what shit is crazy. Yeah, yeah, that's crazy. That's crazy. Hey, no, shout out to Suave, because Suave has some crazy shit he wrote up on the motherfucker. I say we ain't about to go this far. Damn. Yeah, that nigga Suave, Suave is man. dark. He's dark as hell. He was behind it. No, I'm talking about what he wrote ahead of time. I was like, ah. Fuck it. What'd he write? I don't even remember, but it was bad. It was going to put somebody else in that don't shit. Don't even repeat it. I, can't, I don't even remember that shit. Hater. Somebody <laughs> say AD scamming again. AD scamming. <laughs> Get it from his own uh, man. Get it from his own man. That, bro, why would you say that? What? Why would you say that? I mean, you got seven socials, bro. Who has seven socials? <laughs> Your old man. Bro, this is not slander my dad every fucking episode. <laughs> he has seven socials. Uh, <laughs> seven personalities. <laughs> 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 I ain't even gonna tell your dark ass story the other day when you called. Uh. <laughs> keep, that, keep that one to yourself, big fella. <laughs> this thing I hate is funny, bro. Oh, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, our personal, our private conversation is a little different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, anyways, let's talk about y'all basketball league. Oh, yeah. Who y'all sucks? The game, huh? Oh, that shit, yeah. hold the best one. Everybody yesterday said No, the they didn't one. say that. They did. They didn't they say, say he was Jack, up there. Jack said Hope the best one, and Six said I hope the best one. <laughs> and they said the worst one is Jack and Step. I mean, I Jack and um, Jack and Six. Somebody said I got more Reese. I need twenty racks, AD. I'm knocking this Sonic Reese out. Yeah, we we lost by sixteen, man. I said, who top four? They was like Hove, they, they, Kelvin, top four. Me, they Kelvin. said Hove, Kelvin, uh, um, um, they said Alert and Days. Yep, Alert and Days. That's yep. your top four too. That's accurate. Yeah, and the next Bell, what Bell, is Bell, Bell too, but Bell had a bad going. game. You know what I'm saying? I said, Six, what you had, bro? He said, no shot attempts. He had zero points. I said, you just out there. <laughs> they said, we need big PU. I said, man, come on. Yeah, I know. I if me and Pun join the league, it's over. It's over. I'm, I'm clothesline everything I on, the, on the court. Defense rebounds. I need, I need to. I just need put us in. You want somebody to get fouled. Ball? Nah, not really. I, no? I play basketball like a football player. What'd you play? <laughs> Have you ever played any sports? Yeah, football. Oh, okay. High school? Yeah, college too. Oh, you went to college too? Yeah. What what position? Safety. Oh shit, you were yeah. safety? Yeah. Damn. So yeah, I you gotta be good to play safety, bro. Yeah, for sure. I used to do my thing, man. I just had injuries. So it kinda hindered me during the later stages of my career. Damn. Yeah. So you do you think like if it wasn't no injuries, you would have been? Well, first of all, I did my homework, I would have been in the league. But yeah, if I wouldn't have got injured, <laughs> oh, I would have been. Grace was it up? Yeah, because I couldn't take none of my D1 offers out of high school. Mm. Yeah. You had bad grades like that? Yeah, I was too. The homie was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even, you know what's crazy? Dumbass! It's not, it's not even that I was stupid. I just was like young. Just young, not ignorant. guidance. Yeah, and yeah, just yeah. Didn't care enough and didn't realize. I thought if what I was just at be, stake. I just thought, I, yeah, you feel me? Yeah. Like, I just thought, oh, if I play good, I'll be straight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? But it was like, it was more to it. I you, that, well, you have any like real bad distractions though? Uh, not really. I ain't really had much distractions. I just kind of was like alone a lot of the time because uh, my mom would go to work at like seven in the morning, and come home at ten at night. <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't even like that. But it's just like you be alone. I mean, that's a distraction, <laughs> damn near. Hey. You, you just, it's just when you. I'm alone in my room, since I'm staring at the wall. <laughs> <laughs> My grades is so bad, I can't play football. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Shout out to the homies, though, man. No, that's why you, you don't care about going to an island with you and your girl. Probably. You was always by yourself. Probably. I'm, uh, I probably. Lonely. Maybe, no, by yourself. Maybe I need to go talk so to somebody. Lonely. Nah, nah, that's, nah, that's nah. cool. <laughs> So so you regret you regret not doing your homework and shit like that because I don't probably... regret it because I'm happy with who I am now. That's right. So I don't regret mm-hmm. it, but uh, I just would have been happier in the NFL though. But <laughs> maybe I got homies that went and they, jerk you know chicken I mean? NFL. Sure they happy too. Hey yo, that was <laughs> a low blow. Damn, that was a low oh, blow. That's a joke. No, that was a low blow. Uh, oh, nah, owning nah, a restaurant is way better. I mean, who's to say I would have had a long career too? You just never know. So it's just everything happened for a reason. In I'm, my just, I'm speaking in existence. It would have been a great career you would have had. That's all. I, I think just... I would have for sure. You're a great guy. You know, usually great blessings, you are a great guy, blessings come to no, great people. Appreciate that. Appreciate that. Yeah. So what's up with these lessons only freestyles? I'm trying to get. Oh you yeah, one. you want to do one? <laughs> <laughs> you got to throw that in there. <laughs> Somebody said you saved yourself from CTE. Uh, I might have got it Nick, on the way Nick, up. Nick, Nick I ain't gonna lie, I was, Are you just gonna be signing Young Jeezy? No, I was. No. no. 
Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> Nah, I was I was hitting niggas too. So yeah. pause. But I was I was serving shit when I was playing, so I, oh. might, I don't think I got CTE or nothing. But I definitely had some uh, unregistered probably, probably, concussion. Probably yeah. a little mild, little mild case. Little concussion here and there that never yeah. got reported. I CTE shit crazy, man. man bro, it is yeah. wild. You like, think you think Antonio Brown like? All that is CTE, or do you think yeah. he just be like, he for sure got oh shit? shit. Yeah. He for sure he got no, I, no, I but believe, it's hard to I, I it's hard to it, say sure. that somebody got it because you can't really know till yeah, they did. Till they did. So it's like he got something going. Erratic on. behaviors though is one of the. He for sure, like he got the signs something. of it though, for sure. Yeah, there's something going. <laughs> that on. nigga was dissing Caitlyn Clark. You seen that shit? He got I didn't the, see that. He really. got like Carter, Carter Mel Gibson. I ain't gonna lie, I didn't even know he was still going. I just I he called her Mel Gibson, bro. The last. Three times. And then he, when, he, when he put CTE, uh, what, what is the shit? He always had the same hashtag. Yeah, that's Damn, crazy. I got to find that shit. I ain't going to lie, though. AB, AB was so cold when he played. It's just mm-hmm. like, let him do his hey, thing. Before man. that he hit, though, he wasn't doing all this, all this, you know, erratic shit, though, before Fontez birth was in. Before, that's true, too. It might have it might have switched him up a little yeah. bit. We don't know. That shit. I wonder. Been... I wonder if when you pass and then they actually like do your autopsy. Oh, is that it? CT. CT is being. I think that is it. Yeah. But yeah, he be doing that, bro. He be saying wild shit. I wonder if they could trace back to like when you got it. I don't know. After you pass, I don't think so. I know, like a lot of you know, because a lot of motherfuckers started pop Warner and shit. So mm-hmm. that's why he, that's why he stopped doing the shit. True, like, it could have been developing. Yeah. yeah, you could have been developing that shit for a long time. Yeah, that's where I got my. First How you feel about too. that? Like have like because I don't know. I be thinking about like future with me with the youth. Like when I would actually have my kids start playing football. Because so, in reality, because I like I had a brother who really didn't start playing until he was fourteen and he went and got a scholarship. So, so to like, be honest, my son already had two. Okay. Already, he got one doing some dumb. Little boy shit. Jumping around. Outside of football? Outside of football. Hit his head. Yeah. Oh, and then damn. he got one playing soccer. Oh, so you can get oh, one in just... any sport. He never or got anything. one in football. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? You can get one in any sport. Yeah, you can hit your head and do all yeah. kind of shit anything. That's a good point. You know what I'm saying? You can get one in boxing. You can get one in karate. All that shit that y'all doing. Somebody can hit you in your head. Yeah, full contact. Yeah, That's you a good know point. what I'm saying? Basketball. You're not wearing so no gear. You're running. Yeah, that's cool. Huh? Yeah. You get at school. Just exactly. playing and on the jungle. That's fucked up, though. That's true. When you so really think about scared, it, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck it. Cause I'm like, somebody, bro, they going through their teenage years with that shit. And yeah. they become an adult and people be like, oh, you crazy and you this and you that. Like, that's fucked up when you really think about it. That's crucial. Damn. You fell and hit your head before, right? Didn't you say when you was a kid? You had like a story. Come on, man. Nigga, you said it. I said I like fell and hit my head. You got a dent in your oh, head. Oh, y'all got a dent in my head. Yeah, I hit the, I hit the <laughs> shit. <laughs> I do those. Wait, how'd you get a dent in your head? Nigga, there was this um, Compton College used to have these like summer camps and shit like that, sports summer oh, yeah, camps. Yeah, I shit. remember that. Yeah, they used to have that. So, nigga, it was some girls around. I don't know. It was one of the bitches I, I try to like holler at or something. Try to, try to show yeah. off. Try to show off, nigga. It was like a little pipe, nigga. So I tried like to do a pull up on that motherfucker, but it had like a rusty like I don't know like a jagged little rusty side, nigga. Yeah. And I just lifted up, and the shit hit the top of my fucking head, Damn. and I came down. That motherfucker was bleeding. Oh yeah. What? Damn. Yeah. How old was you? It was like probably was like 12, 11, something like that. Fucked you up. Yeah. And I had nigga still like if I, I get my hair cut low, there. I got like a little dent right there and it don't grow. You got a scar too or no? I mean it don't grow. It's just it's, I guess it's a scar. Damn. Emotionally scarred. Yeah, no, that's good. Nah, them head injuries be for real though. Yeah, I didn't, I had like three of them as a kid. Yeah, Concussion? try to show off, do a three fucking special. pull up. Damn. Somebody yeah. said I need a shirt that say I got CTE. I oh, remember like remember when you was a kid and you used to hit your head and your mama and them be like, don't go to sleep. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. They make you stay up and shit. My mom said I used to do that no, when I was little that. though. I used to get mad and just pop out. Like, don't go to sleep. But they, my I head. think they actually I think that might be a real thing though. Yeah, you actually could die in your sleep yeah, from that shit. Yeah, like they tell you don't go to sleep. But like, what quick. was the like limit you supposed to stay up though? Right. I don't know. Because oh, mm-hmm. we parents now, so. Right. What's the limit? They used to make me try to stay up all goddamn oh, God. day. Like, my mom would let me go to sleep. They, 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 all night. They, <laughs> they don't want you being in the house. They don't want you being in the house, though, after you but hit your head. But how hard you got to hit your head, though? Nigga. Man, shit. shit. I, you could barely bump your head. Mom said I used to slam my shit. Bow. Man. I mean. Like on accident or on <laughs> purpose? Sense. No, like I'll be mad. Like I oh. throw a tantrum, and that was the first thing. I just oh, hit my man. head. Bow. Like back Ooh. up. But what, what was crazy, though, we used to go, we used to 
Like you know what I'm saying? Hit our head and go <laughs> right back out there and play again, though. Yeah, facts. Now, that's what I'm choice. saying. Yeah. I might have got some concussions right. and not been reported because I done definitely been dizzy before. It been a little wobbly and took a couple plays off and went right back in. Damn. But I come from that era of, like, toughness. That's right? why they oh, were right. saying, um, up. They were saying uh, UFC is worse than boxing. Hell yeah. Uh, well, no, no. They were saying boxing worse than, what was it? Boxing worse than because you got to keep getting up even when you like got a concussion. Oh, yeah. Keep fighting. Oh, yeah, fact. What was it? It was something worse than. And boxing, they all, I mean, they trying to get you. That's head. all his. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, most you part. Know, they, they aiming for it. I like, think, think Rose nah, got but, one. But UFC, on nigga, fight. you on the floor, niggas. Is... Yeah. But then it's like, how often, you know what I mean? Are you really getting grounded and pounded, pause? Hey, yo. <laughs> Bro, you know listen, I mean? listen. Like, I, I, have you ever seen a UFC fight live? Nah, not live. I went to one live and I said, "This is ridiculous." How they it's like a straight squad, my huh? nigga. They beating the shit out of each other. I, I went to like an amateur one, bro. When I say I seen some people get the shit beat out of them, bro. That's crazy. Like nigga, that shit. The TV don't do it no justice. Bro. I want to go to a live one, I nigga. That lie. shit ain't no joke, bro. They look like they be cracking. That oh shit. God. I want to go to a live one too. I've never been to a live. Especially when a nigga come or you know, you know, I was just watching. Kicking. Neo ass. I was just watching Ooh, the compilation. Fuck, getting hit in the head with a knee. Yeah. With a knee. Yeah. I was just watching the compilation of the, the slap competitions. Oh, those are crucial. Yeah. And I'm when gonna, you and when you, you slow when you slow mo that, and you see how hard they face is getting. Somebody hit. gonna die from that shit. I don't know. Man. Man. Like, who's signing up? For you got to think they like, slapping just, the side of your ear, knocking your equilibrium off, nigga. They getting all cauliflower. They're not even. They're not even getting like good money for that shit though. It's not even you like can't they be. can't it be ain't popular money. enough. Yeah, like, I mean that was getting up there though. But you gotta think though. Let me see what's the highest paid. But you gotta think if you like ain't got no I job, no bread, and a nigga like, hey man, I got a uh, twenty thousand. Come do the slap box. I might man. go. So I might go. Fuck it, nigga. Nah, I, I just, twenty bands to a broke nigga. It's hard because I can't defend myself. Okay, this says the the okay Dana White revealed forty five. They get forty five racks. Forty five to a broke nigga. Yeah. What? The niggas up there. Stop. Let's go. For sure. If they I, said to debut 2000. I see. That ain't enough. To debut nah, nah, 2000? Who, who you putting me against for 2000? And how many? It's slapped to the to quit, right? It's so like it slapped says, to look, somebody quit, It right? says initial pay for his debut. Eric Spicely was reported 2000 a show, an additional 2000 victory bonus. Participants can earn anywhere from between 2000 and 10000 Hey, them niggas make you put your hand behind your back and hold that little shit. Yeah, yeah that's crazy. Nigga, they got one nigga, that nigga hand the size of niggas' head. Is that bro. the dude yes. with the beard? And he the be white going, dude with the beard? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, he hell no. Nah. He be but putting niggas a bed. You get 2000 but then this nigga slap your that's ass the, to sleep and you got to go to the hospital and your you know hospital bills cost more than all that. Oh, that, ain't, that ain't even worth it, bro. Yeah, they said if you win like a championship, they give you 45000 Oh, yeah, it's over with. So you're going to have to get slapped a lot. Forget about it. But just look, let's keep it real. If you broke. Imagine when you super super broke, a nigga say, "Hey, let me you slap." Got a chance at let me slap you real quick. Let me slap you. My your kids need diapers. Ain't no no food in the fridge. I'm nigga, selling, you get two racks. I'm selling dick for seventy five dollars. I got two. Wait, wait so you get man, it. give me the slap. So you, you know what he gonna do? I'm a gigolo spending lots of dough. So you so you get two racks every 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 fight. All right, bro. All right, that's bro. what they saying. You get two racks every fight. Love y'all, man. Every every Shout out uh, to the BPU. Every fight, every fight you get two racks and then you got the chance at forty five thousand. Yes. Yeah, if I yeah, if I think about it, it you running yeah. at two racks, two racks, two racks, two racks. Yeah, that's kinda you might get, you're gonna you be get, fucked you up. Might you might get hundred by the time that, you get the you're getting, that, you're getting that two racks even if you lose two? Yeah, I th- oh, that's a good question. No, yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. That's just to show up, nigga. You get two thousand dollars. Yeah, if I need that, I might do it. That's what. Come on. I might do that if I need. But think I, about when you was really, like really struggling, bro. You can't bro. defend yourself. I don't like that you can. Of you can slap back unless you get knocked out. I'm going That's in. That's what I'm saying. Hey, I'm smoking. You. I'm smoking a crib stick before I go in there. How do they? <laughs> look at me over there. Fuck. How do they? Uh, how do they decide who gets a slap first? Is it coin toss or what? Probably so. Probably. Yeah, because I need a slap first. I am shot one and done. Yeah, but you see some of them people. They be eating that. Listen, motherfucker. ain't nothing worse. Then you setting the tone for a slap and, and raging this motherfucker in front of you. Man. You feel me in yeah. anticipating that? They be doing them sniffing sauces and shit. I think, oh, I, yeah. I think I want to go afterwards. You want to go second? Yeah, I want to go second. You want the rebuttal, huh? But I want to I wanna get that, it. nigga. I'm hot, nigga. What? True. Yeah. You are going to get some. You get what I'm saying? And an angry slap. 
I'm sure. going there. Oh, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Slap the ghost out. But you. then, what if you don't make it to your turn? That's the crucial. No, nah, nigga. If you, I mean, if you off that shit, nigga, you ain't gonna even feel them when they slap you. No, oh, that's fair. Yeah. yeah, but now you're gonna have a, a lifeline. That's problem. a good question. I wonder if being they drug a fucking test sherm them. head. I wonder if they drug test them. You think if you do sherm one time, you're gonna be hooked? Man, I'm I don't know. I ain't shit. about to try. Yeah, I remember. I remember. I picked up a bottle in my front yard. You know who used to do it? Uh-huh. Nigga, I damn near passed out, nigga. Yeah, I'm scared. Just smelling it. Yeah, shit. just smelling it, nigga. I'm nigga over there. Hands and knees, trying to get <laughs> <laughs> like a baby, trying to get to the front door. Near drunk off the fuel. Yeah, yeah, like man, what the fuck is this? Like, like you said, like that officer that uh, that, that got a whiff of the fentanyl. Oh, oh yeah, and yeah, that yeah, nigga I passed heard, out. When he on his yeah. traffic stop or whatever. Yeah, yeah, I heard about that. One. Somebody said certain people fighting cop cars. Niggas yeah, shit. they. Did Niggas. you see that recently? There was a dude. There Tiny a said, dude. "Go a second is crazy. That's for sure yeah. crazy. Nah, nah, it's not though. You might bro. not make it. Listen, that person has to set the tone, bro." You might get that. Uh, you ain't never got hit and you get that adrenaline, bro. Yeah, but then that's also, what I'm saying. What if you don't get to defend yourself or move or nothing. But it's so a bad. It's, it's, it. it's bad if you go down, though. That's what I'm saying. The you first might be out for the hey, hey, Right. You, your, you got two racks, though. <laughs> nigga, what if the, the nigga slap you first and your slap ain't nowhere near as hard as his slap? Oh, that's nigga. even worse. Then you got to get the double back. <laughs> That nigga laugh after you yeah, slap him. Like, oh, <laughs> oh, if a nigga uh, laugh after you slap him, nigga, yeah, you, like, in, you in trouble. Yeah, it's going to be a long fight. Or like, look, a scammer would do, nigga just go down every every first one just, just to act like it. I, wow! I wonder if, can you roll with the slap? That's That'd be a little cheap, I don't know. If you could roll with the slap, fuck around and, you know what I mean? Because I might fall on purpose just to roll with the slap so it don't, it don't affect me as hard. I don't know. Who is that? Let me see. Yeah, that's crazy. Let's see. That's that's interesting. Yeah, that shit is crazy though. Yeah, I can't do it, man. But if I need it that bad, I. But do. I like I like the fact that we live at a time now to where they have a league like that. You like that? Yes, nigga. So do you like the booty it's... slapping one too with the girls? They got booty slapping. They one? got a booty slapping one. The girls slap. Why we didn't other, know about this? The girls slap each other booties. We need to host this. <laughs> Fuck this wrong with you. Uh, well, why you ain't oh yeah, I'm Cam. Booty on, slap. Hold on. <laughs> Instagram. Watch. Look it up. Booty slapping. They for sure got a booty slapping one with the girls. Can men compete? Pause. <laughs> I'm talking about with the girls. Oh, uh, because it's, it's, it's girl on girl. Oh, okay. You want the girl to slap your ass? <laughs> this is the Russian <laughs> slap. <laughs> Hey, I'm, Hi, I'm, I'm, I'm going first. <laughs> I'm going first. Oh, shit. Let me see. Hold on. How the fuck I didn't know about this? Somebody said send the link. Lapping championships. The female yeah, into YouTube competitions. So if the guy's in this competition, this is the channel. Jen- Nigga, show the booty. Yeah. Is wearing a nice bodysuit here. Shout out to Here him. we go. She's deciding to take it first. Oh, she's warming up her hands. That's easy. She ain't got no I cheat. think she whispered in the her one, ear, don't worry about it. You're going to be fine. Harder. This won't hurt you. Oh! I to- what did I say? What? Yeah, sign me up. Nigga want to go see that. That's what he said. Little booty. Little booty. Little booty. Little booty. Can I go first? What? I said, AD is another ditty. Can I go first? Can I go first? It's crazy. Hey, it was funny too, cause I seen, I seen. Look, I'm gonna show y'all, cause I'm keep, I keep it real with y'all. I was gonna comment. I said I ain't about to comment on this shit though. Those are men. <laughs> <laughs> those are men. Tiny funny. Hold on, tiny dumb man. That nigga said those were men. I seen uh, Stevie J post this. He said this was a real Diddy party. Like, look. Now, I was at this fucking party. Oh, for real? Yes, it was Puff 50th, uh, I think it was his 50th birthday party. Everybody had tuxedos on, nigga. That shit was fucking Allegedly, crazy. Was fucking no, I was God there. Nigga, I'm going to keep it real. <laughs> but I said, this is this is the one that he posted, though. That's crazy. Was that Kobe? Kobe was there. That's why, nigga, that's where I fucking met Kobe, bro. Oh, that's tough. I was in Kobe's seat. What? He told me to get the fuck up. I was, been like, yeah, I was like, you, hey, he was like, excuse me, think you in my just, seat. I'll just keep it warm for you, brother. But look how many people was in this motherfucker, though. Yeah, everybody was in that motherfucker. Jay-Z was in that motherfucker. Bro, it, bro, the, the party said, was cracking. They said he next. Jay. I think I think Hov too untouchable. I mean, I what are you so. doing wrong? 
I don't think so. If they can get all these other niggas, they can get him too. Yeah. Nah, bro, because I think... all that shit not true. I really think that the only reason why this shit is happening in the puff, nigga, you, didn't, you, you suing a billion-dollar company, bro, with this fucking uh, uh, alcohol shit. Oh, he is? The Deleon Nigga, shit? he did. He did that, bro. Oh, see, I ain't oh, this, know. It was, no, nah, it was the Ciroc. I mean, Ciroc. Ciroc. Yeah, people Ciroc. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Bro, that shit don't just come out of, out of nowhere. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? True. Like, nigga, as soon as that shit start happening, nigga, they're like, nigga, let's get him. Yeah. Back to back and shit. See, that's why I just try to be a good person out here. Bro, Because yeah. it's done in the dark, gonna come to the light. Now, mind you, I ain't never been to no freak offs. I can say 100%. I've probably been to fucking three or four puff parties, and I ain't never seen nothing, like, out of the ordinary. Like, I ain't never seen that. Me personally. So is the whole thing around Puff, they saying his parties was They saying his parties is 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 like that. But I heard there's the party, and then there's the after party. Oh, okay. I ain't never been to the after party. Okay. After I've been party there party when everybody exclusive. is there, the dance floor, everybody having a good time, and you leave. Yeah. So what goes on afterwards, I don't got no idea with. But it do be some crazy shit going you know on in the world, man. I mean, it's it's... Oh no, know. it's some sick shit, bro. It's some shit going on in the world. It's some shit. His 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 thing though, the worst thing he did was to pay Cassie. You know what I'm saying? After she Hell came no, up. Nigga. Up? No, listen, listen, let me land, nigga. The worst thing to do was to pay her after she tried to settle it with you before it got public. Once uh, he paid her, mm-hmm. that's when everybody started making their allegations now. Now all these Thinking stories get some Now too. all these stories coming out now. You know what I'm saying? This ain't it ain't about to stop. You know what I'm saying? He should have he settled this shit before he got this far. And if with Cassie, they used to be together, so it's like right. they for sure probably could have settled that without it. Now they uh, cooperating with everybody else's store. Yes. Cassie is? Yeah. Yeah, they said she been working with the feds. Damn. After getting the chili. Damn. Right. Yeah, nigga, so it's a little... Ooh, that's so a little is, different. I didn't even know it was that deep. That nigga, pro- mm-hmm. that nigga probably was like, man, fuck you, bitch. Get this shit in blood. Okay. When he paid her like 30 mil or something like, like that? That's what they think. Yeah, it's like 50 or something. Ooh, she hit that heist. <laughs> <laughs> that's crucial. Yeah, she hit the motherfucker. <laughs> that heist for sure. That's crazy. Yeah, yeah. But I don't yeah, Like I said, me personally, I ain't seen nothing crazy like that. But I've heard like... Stories people say, oh, about other people celebrities' houses. Yeah, like I remember, a bitch told me one time she seen a black candle at somebody's house. What the black candle? Yeah. Because like, like witchcraft type stuff. Yeah, because I like I I didn't I never like believed in the concept <clears throat> of Illuminati. Oh, like okay. when I heard about it, and it's crazy. You know how I heard about Illuminati? Uh, I had a homeboy nigga call yeah. me. I think I, I said this on the show before. Hey, don't is it is it up? Uh, Yes. Mm-hmm. Hey, okay, go ahead and tell your story because I got a story. Okay, too. so me and this nigga, bro, we rapping. You feel me? We trying to fi- figure out how we can make it in the industry and shit like that. You feel me? So a nigga calls me, bro, randomly. He's like, hey. He's like, bro, I, gotta, I, I know how we can get in the industry. And I'm like, how? And he was like, man, this is shit called Illuminati. Oh, shit. He's telling me this, bro, on the phone. This is my first intro to this shit. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? He's like, it's a shit called Illuminati. And bro, I'm just listening to this nigga talk. He like, yeah, we're gonna get a we gonna get a homie. We're gonna act like it's our homie. And we're gonna sacrifice this nigga. Damn. This is what he told me on the phone. And I'm like, bro, he's serious as fuck, though. He's like dead ass. Bro, dead ass, bro. He was serious as a motherfucker. And I'm listening to him. I'm like, hold on. He like, bro, I'm gonna send you a video right now. And bro, I start watching like early YouTube. Of all these, you know, all the signs mm-hmm. and yeah. everything like that. You know what I'm saying? So when he said that, bro, the first thought in my mind was, he gonna try to kill me. Me, yeah. You feel me? I'm the homie. Or sacrifice me. Yeah. So I started like doing my research on it and shit like that. And I'm like, nigga, this shit is crazy. Now, do I believe that there, nigga, there's a secret society and everything? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, for sure. But I don't think it's to the point to where it's just like, all devil, 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 devil shit, and I could be wrong. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's interesting because I heard I heard a, a, a interesting narrative about the Illuminati where it's not really devil shit. Shit, it's more it's more. So, it's like elite. Yeah, it's more, that's how it's I more look so at shit. Like a um a mastermind group, basically more so than a devil thing. But I don't know. I personally, I don't really believe in it. I don't know. No, what because to believe, look, look, if you if you think about I'm, it, right? Like, I'm what just, was the nigga name? Um, 
Jeffrey Epstein. Okay, yeah. So, like, let's just say somebody like Jeffrey Epstein, right? You have people come over to your place doing shit. You got blackmail on these niggas, bro. Now you got politicians and everybody in your back pocket. Mm. You can technically control a lot of parts shit. of the world and, you know what I'm saying, and yeah. ideas and get your ideologies across, too. So I do think there's an elite group of people who have politicians. They have people in the music industry. They have people that do all that stuff. That's the bohemian growth yeah, shit we was talking to, about that to, one time. To push their agenda. Mm. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. I believe in that. I don't think it's it's like, oh, I'm sacrificing this and blah, 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 blah. Like, I don't know about, I haven't seen no evidence in my personal life that can support that. Yeah. Other than hearing rumors. Like, girls told me, I seen black candles here and I seen this here and I seen this there. But I'm saying, me personally, that's what that is though. But, yeah. yeah just, just tell my part of the story. After yeah, this nigga, just, after this nigga oh, so did that, he, know that same nigga. he, he okay. brought the nigga to my house. <laughs> nigga, talk to my brother, bro. You was about to be the second. <laughs> nigga, nigga, talk to my brother, bro. My brother had a show that night. You know, God rest his soul. But my brother is the one who used to smoke the crib sticks, bro. Okay, used to okay. smoke the wet. Mm -hmm. That right there triggered him because he went into a rabbit hole on YouTube and oh, was watching all whole... that shit. So he went so, crazy. So at his show, he seen everybody looking at him. Nigga ran off stage, bro. This was... While what he was this? performing? While he performing. Nigga ran off stage, bro. We couldn't find this nigga for, for like a day. You feel me? This nigga ripping his clothes off, nigga think cutting his Illuminati himself. Illuminati after him. Thinking he, they after him, bro. He had to go. He had to go to Augusta Hawkins, man. Like Damn. yes, bro. It's yeah. really, it like, was really like that. That's crazy. Yeah, and I'm like, I ain't seen Uppity in a minute. This nigga brought oh, he him to my said house. His name. You said his. I didn't well, say well, his whatever, name. Whatever, whatever. <laughs> Cause I brought him to my house, nigga, and triggered. And then after that, I ain't see the nigga no more. And then I think I seen him, and uh, he was doing bad, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I'm that, like, that hopefully he's doing good in life, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, hopefully, yeah, man. That's crazy. But, but once he told me that, bro, like, we about to get a home fake homie, I'm like, bro, I don't want to make it that bad. I want to I want to sacrifice somebody. Shit. Yeah. You know what my, I'm saying? It probably is my brother. But that, that, was all, <laughs> that, that part is the real shit just about life and just cons <laughs> consumption in general. Like, nigga, you got to watch what you consume out here because that shit is a part of your diet. That nigga, shit AD is affecting bro, you in a lot of different AD ways. AD brought up and he come kill my brother. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Uh, Why you bring that nigga oh, down? Damn. Bring that nigga down to the crib, cause hey, that, that, hey, hey, once he told me that shit, bro, mind you, I'm on to, YouTube looking at this shit like, what I, the fuck is I, this? I had to tell that nigga stop watching this bullshit, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, nah, like I really hey, to, one thing about me though, chat, that's what, I'm always gonna be on the side of God, so that's you ain't I gotta worry about none brother. of that shit with me. But nigga, that was yeah. That's when I became the big brother, bro. I, had to, you know, what I'm saying. Alter this nigga thoughts, you know like, what I'm saying? Get, get out, back, huh? yeah, get all of this shit out of you, nigga. Stop getting high, all this bullshit. I bro. feel that. And this and he had just got out of jail too. Also, oh, he already just yeah. getting used to being back in the normal. You know world what I'm saying? He getting back, be, getting back into his music and shit. Okay, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And, he see this shit like, <laughs> oh every day or something. I mean, I'm sure after- Hey, this is not funny, but I'm gonna read it though. What you got? Look, look, this ain't cool, but this is how people, this is how people put conspiracy theories is. They said 10 years later, AD is famous, the other guy's a bum, and Hove brother is dead. They said, what does that tell you? <laughs> bro, Wait, I, huh? That's cold, oh, bro. Damn. That's how- They that's, trying to put the nigga, sacrifice on that's right. how. That's how conspiracies happen, bro. That is. Yeah. Right? right. Now somebody gonna make a video, they go detail. Go oh, bad. see, all see. Oh, it's about to be a reaction. Oh. 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 Somebody gonna get their clippy clip off. <laughs> <laughs> see, now, now you know how I feel when y'all try to paint that narrative <laughs> right. on me. Yeah. <laughs> that ain't cool, man. Yeah, death to narrative. Listen, AD pain. took the deal. Took the deal, huh? <laughs> I took the deal to be a podcaster. Yeah, man. No, you took the deal for success. Damn. <laughs> I'm a real hot like, I don't care what form it comes. Yeah. Just hey, give bro, me the success. Bro, if I start doing this in pictures and shit, yeah, we know they going to be like, hey, you want to know what made it worse too, though? You might have to do that on your next single. Just shout, to... out, shout out to the homie uh, 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 um, Stolen Youth, right? Yeah. He gave me a shirt. And... Uh, uh, they told me, they're like, why are you wearing that shirt? Because I always say how I believe in God. You feel me? I'm a God-fearing man and stuff like that, right? Yeah. Okay. Look shout at out this. to God. Shout out to, shout out to God. So he gave me this shirt. Mind you, I didn't know what it was. He basically gave me a shirt with like something like this on there. Oh. 
Alistair Crawley. That's what it's called. Oh, uh, you and you just thinking it's cool. You rocking that. I'm motherfucker. thinking it's a. I'm thinking it's a T-shirt. You feel me? But I'm on the other platform talking about God. Oh, okay. And I got this that on shirt the shirt. On. Oh, so they like he contradicted himself. Basically, like, oh, you're you want to now. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. But like, yeah, that's why you got to be careful of, of what shit. you take. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's why too. Like, that's why I never got a, a tattoo in another language. Mm, I was like, All right, no, I, was I not, get what you're saying. I'm not sure. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, I didn't know about that stuff too, but even like when when I first heard of Hellstar, yeah, I was like, I don't know about wearing that because yeah, I didn't know what it was and stuff like that until I, you know what I'm saying, shout out to Shiny, shout out to Chris. Shiny was telling me, bro, like, nigga, it's above that. You get what I'm saying? So like okay. even one of their recent shirts, and I just got that shit today, it's is is basically like punching the devil. You feel me? That's a and it says oh, Hellstar like is bigger, is. is like bigger, is it says bigger than Satan. You get what I'm okay. saying? So, like, I, I fuck with that, though. I fuck with that. Re shit. Redefining the meaning. Yeah, redefining the mean, yeah. meaning and shit like that. But, yeah, bro. Um, I got to shout out my homie, too. Uh, 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 God's Kingdom, man. Shout out to my homie God's Kingdom. Shout out. Wearing some of his clothes and shit like that. Dope-ass work. He make everything himself and everything like that, too. But, yeah, I, I pay attention to now what I put on now because you could be giving For off sure. the wrong message and shit like that. 100%. You know what I mean? Man, that's it's important, too, man. Gotta be, no. gotta be aware of what you putting out into the world because it's coming back to you in some form. Yeah. So somebody said bigger than Satan ain't good either. See, I don't fucking know, bro. I don't just I don't go against my God though, man. Yeah. Just sure. know, to me, no no amount of success or anything is worth your soul. Fact. You feel me? Because when you really break down an eternity, an eternity is an eternity. Man. Fact. Nigga, we may have 60, 70 years on this earth. As Especially black being. men and shit like that, bro. Like, no, I would rather have an eternity of, of you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Because you gotta believe in something. You, you might as you, well believe there's an afterlife for you. You have to believe that there's something more to this. For That's sure. where that moral compass comes in. You know what I mean? Because if not, like, if it was like, oh, it's nothing after this, bro. People would just live di way differently. Oh, or yeah. at least having the hope that there's something after this life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Do you believe do you believe when people die they come back at, in the form of something else? Like yeah. whether it be a plant no. or like a animal or you know what I mean? I think so. Think no. So? That's reincarnation. I, I've been on the edge. I kind of I kind of don't but then I kind of do. I think like, you gonna come back know. as an elephant? I just I look at my dog and I'm like, "Bro, you a human, dog." Like sometimes I really look at that motherfucker just some shit he be doing. I'm like, "You a human, but you really a dog." And I'm like, I don't know. It might be true sometimes because I really feel like that nigga a human. But do you have loved ones where you like, I want to see them again one day and believe that? Do you believe that we get reconnected in the afterlife? I do. So if you're reincarnated, how is that going to happen? Well, when you get reincarnated in the sense, I mean, it's with, like, I mean, with you the don't, consciousness. You don't, yeah, you don't get the consciousness. I mean, I mean, with your consciousness, do you think that you run into your loved ones again in some type of form? Uh... I think it's that's why I'm on the fence of, because I think you might be able to and just not know that you're doing it. So I might, I might, I might be a dog and run into my homie that I lost, and he the other Arf! dog. You mm -hmm. feel me? But I don't know he the other right. dog. But we got a connection. I'm like, why well, connect with you? Right. But One see, that's moment. that's you kinda, look familiar. Nigga. That's kind of sad. That's kind of sad, though. Bro. <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of sad, though. That's sad. Why? Yeah, like you would think, like once this life is over, like. You get to you automatically connect you, with your people. You get to hang with your peoples forever. But you don't know you hanging with them. But that's that's sad then. Uh well, I guess in a way. I yeah, mean, like true. I said, meaning having your conscience of, hey, this is my mom, this is my grandma. Yeah. I get to see them Knowing, again. Yeah. You get what I mean? True. Because kind of what's the point if that's not the case? If that's not the case. I feel that. Or why do we say, I'm gonna see you again one day? You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like Well, yeah. I, I say that from a standpoint of like dreams. Cause I be I be believing dreams have meanings a lot of the times too, and I feel like uh, sometimes the people you lose in life will send you messages through your dreams. No, I believe that. I believe that. Yes, yeah, it's, it's crazy. It get it get it get uh it get tricky. But that reincarnation, I don't, I, I wouldn't I don't know. Yeah, I'm on the fence of, about. I think I think I think we get one time to do it right. 
make our impact and stuff like that. But then, yeah, like nobody knows. Nobody knows, man. Man, for real. And that's the people that gone, they can't come back and tell you. And that's the scary thing, though. Just live your best life here on earth, man. And hopefully, that's all you could do. You know, you make it up there to the upper room and you meet with your people. Yeah, upper room. That's all you do. That's all you got to do, man. Try to be the best person. You know what's the scariest life. fate, though? I think. What? You know how some people say, like, you just, you just, you just gone, right? Mm-hmm. And you just see black forever. I know. I be. I, mm. That's yeah. That'd be terrible. That's crazy. Yeah. And the crazy, I, I don't know. I look at it like, man, the, that and the fact that we don't know when. Like, I like the fact that we don't know when. I'd rather know, cause then I know. No, cause why? Like, let's say, let's say, God forbid, knock on wood, mm-hmm. I got sick. They go to the doctor. They like, hey, bro, you got three months. I know exactly. You know what I mean? I'm like, all right, I got three months. I'm gonna live it up. You know what I mean? I'm gonna fight for six months. I'm gonna fight for more. But I know I got three for sure. I'm about to live it up as much as I can for these three. Versus now, I might be like, oh, I'll do it tomorrow. Not knowing that I might not even get tomorrow. Yeah, but I'd rather live the way that I want to live without limitations. True. Because even then, you have limitations. You're like, oh, I got this time right now. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? For sure. I got this little time left and shit like that. Yeah. I mean, you're not moving the way too. that you that you, that you you, you want to move. You doing yeah. shit just to do it. Nah, for sure. Because you got limited time and shit. Yeah, I live like I ain't getting tomorrow, man, because shit, we don't know. We don't know. Mm-mm. Then, too, bro, the, the the world that we live in now, like, even with all the sickness, all the cancers and shit, bro, I see more people getting cancer young, bro, and it's, it's like, it's tearing man, through them, it's bro. It's like, crazy right now. Like, it's shit crazy. Young people, bro. Uh, yeah, it's... Niggas even, in their thirties, even and shit young like that. elders, like sixties no, sure, sure. and stuff, like that's to me that's still fairly young as yeah. an elder, Fact. right? And I'm just like them people getting sick, or even if it's not cancer, it's just like little different things. Like I didn't have my mom go through some stuff recently. I'm like, damn, that's crazy. We really getting to that point in life where my mama getting sick. Like what, yeah. nigga? That's right now in life. That's that's one of my biggest fears, bro. Losing my mama. Yep, I said the same thing on my on my show, bro. Yeah. Nigga, I lost my grandma. That was the hardest. The hardest loss ever, and it made me and my mom super closer, bro. Man, and it's it's it, man. I'm like, ooh, I can't. I don't ever want to think about that you day. Call, you gotta call your loved ones, man. Mm-hmm. You gotta call your loved ones. Yeah, that's that, just crazy. That's I mean, I, I lost my grandparent, and I you know it's crazy. Like I didn't really grow up with grandparents because I'm like the youngest, second youngest of all my brothers. And so my grandparents was like a little older when I was going. So I didn't really have like a real relationship with my grandparents. But I remember that was the first time I seen my mom cry. And I, that shit mm. just hit me. I'm like, damn, what is this I'm feeling? I think I was like the first time I ever like really cried awareingly knowing I'm crying because of my feelings. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, damn, that's heavy. Like this is some real shit going on with my mama crying. I ain't never right. seen her mm. cry. And that shit, that shit get tricky though. All uh, right, let me read some of these super chats. Uh, Scotty. Thank you for the five dollars. Shout uh, out, my boy Scotty. Yeah. Yo, shout out to the guys. Uh, love for suburban LA. Shout out to suburban LA. Homie with the Jerry Curl. Thank you for the three dollars. Shout out to having Drebo on the show. The shout Lobby Two is out now. Yeah, y'all okay. make sure y'all go get that. Lobby Two. Spaced out sounds. Feral. Thank you for the two dollars. The one by Drebo need a remix to that one part two. Yeah. Gotta get on that remix. The G. Thank you for the ten dollars. Shout out to y'all. Yeah, what y'all are doing is dope. With the real shows, keep mixing up the content because it's getting kind of repetitive with the same topics getting repeated on every show. I'm going to support regardless. That's that's how I feel too, yeah, Scrooge. You feel me? Like, Shout yeah. out Scrooge and G, man. Who is what? And I feel like that too, uh, that's why a lot of the audience, they'll get mad and say, hey, you guys don't know the fuck you're talking about because we're getting things for face value sometimes not doing our research on them yeah. and just giving our opinion on them. And then I feel like, you know, there's other people that they can watch. Mm-hmm. That are well versed into topics. that and covering that will have more knowledge too. So it is a, it's good sometimes to get that initial reaction, but yeah, it all depends on how you want to watch it. So that. yeah, um, who is Wax? Thank you for two dollars. Might as well leave the Madden League losing first week. Damn, hey, stop me out, dog. Damn, we I both definitely. took L's, man. So I bet got me yet last night. Mm-hmm. It's cool. I play Hove you, next week. I'm gonna got, get you, a dub. Yeah, <laughs> you're right. <laughs> You got Su- Suave acting like he fucking Muhammad Ali. Yeah, you would right think there. he won hey, a Super he be Bowl. Pushing. He beat me by two points. He be pushing, though. He cooking, though. I ain't going to lie. Shout out to Suave, man. Uh, let me see. Who uh, RJ won't lose? Thank you for the $5. AD, what's your email? 
Want to send you an unreleased track. Promise you won't get flagged. I've been a long time supporter. Much love to you. Uh, DM it to me, RJ, because I'm not giving no email out. <laughs> yeah, you're going to get a million yeah, beats. Yeah, for real, man. for real. <laughs> Die Marley, thank you for the two dollars. Shout out to the homie Drebo. The lobby two is out now. I'll be out now. Suave Ooh. Gaming, Suave, thank you for being the community member for eleven months. Shout out to the homie. Shout out to the community. Ad Pun the Drebo. Shout out to Drebo. Broncos two for the win last night. Know what I'm talking about? Heard I lost though, but shout out. Yeah, he ain't gonna let you let that one down. Bro. I know. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> crazy. Shout out to the motherfucking Madden League. Y'all shit doing FMW Sports as well too. Yes, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. The basketball competition and shit like that. Um, shit, while we talking about sports, man, we got to play the commercial. Big shout out to Prize Picks. Big commercial edition. Yeah. Let me tell y'all about Prize Picks, man. The best daily fantasy sports you can. Sports game. Let me tell y'all about Prize Picks, man. The best daily fantasy sports game on the market. You know, you can. Almost. What's happening, y'all? Let me tell y'all about Prize Picks, the best daily fantasy sports game in town. Nope, you don't want to. Community, let me tell you guys about Prize Picks, the best daily fantasy sports game on the market. How does it work? You pick two to six players if they will go over or under their Prize Picks projections, went up to 25 times your entry amount, and cash out your winnings instantly. It's currently available in 30 states and some places in Canada. I play all the time, and it's super, super easy. So tune in, use the code community for your $100 deposit. They're going to match another $100. So tune in, community. It is prize picks. Let's get it. Big shout out to prize picks. Um, shout out. I told them today, too, they have a free square. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Somebody said. <laughs> AD made me lose 200 straight off of prize picks. He's taking out of money for VIP. Listen, one thing, when you're playing this stuff, you need to play responsibly. Facts. You know what I mean? Um, I am not a sports guru. Even sports gurus cannot predict what's going to happen. You know what I mean? People get data. They get stuff from the sports books. And then they can compile. I can say just for me. I get sports book data. I compile all the best data that I can think. And I try to make the right projections. But nothing is 100% foolproof. Anybody tells you they're 100% foolproof is a lie. I've been in a million discords, you feel me, where I'm paying every single month and I'm on a losing streak like crazy. Gamble responsibly. Play, no, it's not gamble, fantasy sports. Uh, fantasy play fantasy sports. sports responsibly. You know what I mean? But when you play, I play every day and I play what I can play with. That's don't 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 bad. look at this like, oh, I'm about to get rich and do this and yeah, do that. Like, sure. no. Have fun with it. Don't look at it as income. Do not, do not get an addiction. Do not do anything like that. You know what I mean? Play if you got if your if your income is not that much, play five dollars or something. You feel me? Get some joy out of that. Too many people, bro. It's just like Vegas. They think I'm gonna go to Vegas and, and win all of this money. Man. You're never gonna win all of that money. Man, never. tell them, tell them, put five percent on their props, man. That's, That's what I'm saying. Start. That's how you start man. off. Five percent. If you got twenty five dollars and you do a six, man. Put five dollars on there. I say take your ass to the stock market and then come back with some of that. Let money me tell you something. This. <laughs> and even like, okay, there's been times where I played, right? And I'm doing my research, right? I never forget it. it was a um it was a soccer player, right? Yeah. He didn't hit this goal for 15 games. Oh, you like he gotta hit it. No, like the projection, I forgot what it was, the category. Yeah. But for 15 games, this person did not do that. And when you pick And it. then when you sit there, out of 15 times, you would think the 16th time oh, he's yeah. not going to do it either. Yeah. That's when they do it. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't matter even when you're doing your research and stuff like that. Somebody could be having a good game. It's just one day, yeah. Yeah. Rebounds and assists. I remember one time I went um against Anthony Edwards, right? Oh, yeah. 20 seconds left. Uh, he uh, uh, somebody shoots the ball. He grabs it, tries to put it back in. He drops back. He tries to put it back up. I'm like, oh my god! We was just talking about the I, angel, about the angel Reese exactly. shit. And oh, the angel Reese stuff. And she get a, and she get man, a charge. I had a six pick going too. Six I had pick. I had her to go for eighteen point five points. Same. She had seventeen, mm -hmm. and she would have got that and one. And she would have got that and one. That would have been it right there. They got the charge in. Hey. It is what it is. Nothing is foolproof. Sometimes. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. But no, 
they're giving away a free square right there. Oh, see, Black uh, Satama, thank you for the 707. Uh, thank you for the $2. He said, join 80s VIP, and I got my chili back the first day. Shit, it happens like that. You did definitely help me get some chili one time. Come on, on the, on that's the, what I'm uh, saying. On the little, the agree. little, on whatever that gaming one was, LOL or whatever. Oh, yeah, League of Legends? Yeah, I went on that, that one. That nigga be said, making me lose my money about. every goddamn day. And, 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 and listen, <laughs> it's been it's been four months, man. Look at this. Oh, see, look. I, already, <laughs> look, I don't even one, know what game One is. is good for the day. Okay. See, look, this is something I, I, look, I actually play. Oh, baseball is kind of cool right now, too, yeah. now that baseball game. Cool. Well, Sometimes, follow. though, because... Some of them, uh, uh, some of them, um, um, up the bat, they don't hit at all. Yeah. They don't get no runs or nothing like that. So it messes up the fantasy. Oh, you that's feel true. Me? Yeah, but look, I be doing the fantasy points. Everything I post, I I play every day. You know what I'm saying? But look how much in a couple of months, man, fifty thousand. Yeah, them them gaming ones Running though. The time up. you got to get, you got to put your bit, you got to put your uh play in like. You, like early morning, like oh true. Like See, look, Mookie, morning, Mookie bets. The Mookie bets the second. I think it was the second game. No hits. His fantasy score is like eight point five. Twenty. He hit twenty four fantasy. You feel me? Yeah. It's a it's a it's a toss up. But yeah, look at that fifty up. I'm going for hundred k this year, man. I'm yeah, telling y'all crazy. now. Yeah. Hundred and fifty yeah. entries won. Play fantasy sports responsibly, y'all. Uh... But they want me to cook up one right now because they got a free square for the UFC. You know what I mean? Justin Guy, this guy, that's Is it a random UFC game or, I mean, match or? No, 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 no. This Saturday is the tournament. Oh, okay. Oh, so it's significant strikes? Significant strikes. So he was projected to do 100. They're giving him a a free square. Oh, he definitely hitting that. Yeah. 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 Somebody said AD does it on sports. He don't watch. No, I watch everything. When I tell you I watch everything, I watch everything. I even, look, even for like the League of Legends, I'll be up at like 2, 3 in the morning. I never seen that shit. Bro, it it, it looks crazy. Really? Yeah, but there's a site that I go to. It's called 1337pro.com. And I literally just watch the, the, the kills and the deaths and everything like that. Is it like a yeah. like Team Deathmatch style shit? Or? I'm going to show you after this. Uh, yeah. let's, 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 let's cook this one up. So I did some research today. I'm more, this is the free square, so you got that. We're going to cook up a four pick. Um, y'all can tell this if y'all want to. Where's the fantasy score? I wrote this down. Let me see. I got, uh, okay, I got her. Melissa Dixon, fantasy score, more. Me, I only like to do power plays. Uh, let me see who else. Let me see who else did I put down. Dylan Buka, I did him more. And we got one more. Who did I put? Uh, Masamoto. That's what we did. Masamoto. Boom. You said you did Melissa Dixon. Mm-hmm. Fantasy. More. More. Yep. Buka. Significant strikes. Buka. More. Um, Justin is the free Masamoto. is the free square. And Matsumoto. More for the fantasy score. And we gonna put. That's a four pick, right? Four pick, two hundred and fifty-five dollars on there. Bow. Oh, they said the only entry amount is one hundred and fifty. Okay, that's the max. So here we go. Oh, it says the entry amount is only for twenty-five dollars. Okay, uh, twenty-five. Oh, if we're gonna do twenty-five, we might as well do a six pick. Might as well. Might as well go for it all. Why not? Man, let's go for the gusto. Boom. I had that written down too. And then let me see one more. It was who was the last person? Oh, Ignacio. Okay. Six pick. Let's do it. Boom. Locked in. Oh, let me tell y'all about prize picks, man. The best daily fantasy sport. I don't know why it does that when I do that on the on the what's it called? What was it? Walker and Yeah. Said bet on Allen Ignacio for sure, for sure. Ignacio. Go big or go home. <laughs> AD looking like the second string car washer. Just jokes, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's funny. Bro, I love the chat, man. Never change, chat. Never change, chat. 
Hey, and big shout out to our other sponsor, Slap Woods. You feel me? Shout out. Big shout out to Slap Woods. Premium leaf wraps made from only the finest virgin, all natural tobacco leaves, carefully inspected to ensure the highest quality and no stems on the edges. Pre wash and handcuff a luxury smoking experience every time. Premium only products for premium only smokers, man. Y'all make sure y'all get y'all some Slap Woods. You know what I'm saying? Um, Drebo, I need to hear something, man. What's up? Let me get myself together, man. Can I can I get the the two remix verses for the people? Oh yeah. How you want me to send it to you? Just text them to me real quick. Okay. You got the first one, right? Just send them both. All right. Let me. I don't feel like looking for that. Shout out to Drebo, man. Get his album out now. You feel me? Yeah. The lobby out now. Don't mm -hmm. worry about anything. We got some shit on the way. Hold up. I'm happy I made the uh, the album, man. Yeah, you made that motherfucker. We're gonna have to do a video. Let's do too. the video. Let's do it. Let's do it. We're gonna have to do make it happen. Together. Shout out Don't Panic in the chat as well. Shout out Shout Don't, Don't Panic, Panic man. man. Let me see. Which one you gonna send first? This one is the cash one. Hold on. Shout out to Jason Cash, man. Yeah, shout out my nigga Jason Cash. Carson in the building. Shout out to the the Lime out. Now I need to find you. Let me see. Quick. All right, let's play this one. Give him dap when you see him, that's fake mm. shit. That get you brought to the front of the congregation. I get you slapped with the back of the hand, nigga. Keep on playing. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Ah, all right, Jason Cash. Uh-huh. Two-piece, send him to the dinner. Shut the fuck up, bitch. Uh-huh. Two-piece, send him to the dinner. It's like driving. Niggas won't talk, but niggas ain't silent. Hold on, then you know yeah, your boy, Jason your boy AD had to get on there. AD.
on some shit, that man. Motherfucker going crazy. We can slide on some shit, man. That motherfucker going crazy. Yeah, man. Big shout out to Drebo, man. Big yeah, shout man. out to Drebo, man. We got a lot of shit on the way, man. We got that coming on the way with uh, AD uh, and Jason Cash. Shut the fuck up. Remix. Mm-hmm. I got a I got a joint on Traffic new album. Don't worry about nothing. Shout out to Traffic, man. You feel Shout me? Out Shout traffic. out to Traffic. We got a crazy one coming. Um, I got TF on the album. Shout, Shout out, out to TF. Delion. De I got another homie. I'm trying to get on the album. I can't say him yet though. I need the verse back. You know who you are. Shout out my nigga man. Send <laughs> the verse back. Um, working on this project with Mike and Keys too, so that's gonna be. Shout dope. out to Mike and Keys, Shout yeah. Out Mike and Keys, I'm about man. to work with them next week. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm about to go pull up on them niggas right mm-hmm. now. Then. So shout what's out, name, what's man. What's the name of this album? Uh, this one called the Cheat Code. Cheat Code. Mm. Yeah, so the Cheat Code is just basically gonna be uh, just showing you why I believe I'm the Cheat Code, man. Niggas can't do it the way I'm doing it. I feel like I got it. That's right. You do got it. Appreciate right. that. And we need to hear some more rapping before we get out of here, man. Big shout out to our family over there. You know what I'm saying? The Thizzler. Oh, yeah. Shout out my homie Ian Kelly. He just did one of these. Bar Wars. I hope he's on this one. I love it. Yep, Ian Kelly's on this one. Yeah, he on my album. Shout out to Lobby, man. He on Come the Come on, love. man. Shout Let's do that. Ian Kelly. Yeah, man. Bar Wars, man, for the Star Wars, man. You ain't watching Hulu, man. You with King Bulu, man. It's Shween, nigga. I'm hunted, man. King Bulu, don't let me down this time, man. You too hard. At 2 a.m., I saw bullet shells and tire marks. Who is this? Mommy, I'm for the tears to flood Noah's Ark. I'm on 10, they 10 men trying to find a heart. It might be pitch black, but that's exactly how my morning starts. Good morning, just vibing out with my Africans. No crash dummy, but always wind up in accidents. I passed the fifth before ever being a pacifist. I be hanging around like I was born in Nazareth. And I was in the middle, that's past tense. And rose like a phoenix, that's to dust when there's ashes. I got a new stash, no longer keeping my mattress. If life is a bitch, she definitely is a bad bitch. And lonely dark nights, I be chilling with Gladys. What the fuck you mean? Sort of like my jacket, I'm still liking my money green. Setting screens, praying Nobody shooting like Stephen Threes. Death coming threes. I'm killing my insecurities. Eliminate the fear and disposing of what's not meant for me. Hi there, my name's Ian Kelly. I heard you sent for me. We don't play instruments. My band feel like a symphony. Damn near fell science while I'm understanding chemistry. Underappreciated. I'm growing too used to that. Even to some ones I thought that had my back. I guess you got a mob without the strings attached No puppeteer, now I'm on a tear, you won't get me back Speaking from my tongues, now I speak in racks Hang with Mr. Cooper, you won't hate me for being black So I will attack like a Smith slap from a Smith & Wesson for get back All that shit talking is x lax to a Halloween I know some tricks, won't exactly consider them treats Run around these tracks, I don't even be using my feet All the lessons pops gave me, boy, they stay on repeat Let a sucker be a sucker, brought my own sand to the beach Remember the Titans? Rev run at the pocket and preach I'm from the town, man, you know that we climbing the east I was starving, keeping full the belly of beast And then I found light like Sean Paul Actions will speak Ian hey. Kelly, 10 out of 10 Ian Kelly going stupid 10 out of 10, nigga, you nice, nigga you crazy Ian Kelly, you are nice, nigga Facts Shit Shout out my dog, Ian Kelly, right. man Let me hear who next Ian Kelly, you, yeah, you might have won this already Oakland in the building Like my honey. <laughs> Uh, 1100 himself, let's hear you. Fuck with me real quick. Yeah, he's a pro. Hey. <clears throat> I power up about my spinach, feel like Popeye. Don't give a fuck if living dialing in your top five. And I see squares up in your circle like a stop sign. They got me riding around Oakland in the nighttime. And Triz told me, nigga, no more Mr. Nice Guy. A snowball of fake starter from a white lie. I, like I fuck with Matt, I made some thousands with that white guy. <laughs> like Goldilocks, I feel my porch not the right size. <laughs> you feel me? I mean a right temp. I read live the road is yours across a white blimp. While eating cocktail sauce and tiger striped shrimp. He broke her for a cheeseburger, a real nice pimp. He was the funny turn to Steve, that's just how life hit. And Liv was born for this shit, that's what I'm telling y'all. I wake shit up like football helmets with the smelling salts. I used to do the back and forth like it was tetherball. But I wasn't tripping off that shit cause I had hella sauce. Nigga, cause I had hella sauce. And I wasn't tripping off that shit cause I had hella sauce. I used to do the back and forth like it was tetherball. <laughs> I was gonna give him a nine, I'm gonna give him an eight now. Cause I wish it was longer. He was cooking. Right. He was. He cooking. nice though. I want to hear some more from 1100 himself. He nice. He nice. He nice. He ain't set the tone. Bro did his shit though. So 
I'm gonna give him an eight out of ten. If it was a little longer, I would have given him a nine. That was fire though. That's accurate. Yeah, man. Get that shit back and forth like it's tennis ball, man. Roll call, man. Oh, it's on me. Okay, man. <laughs> okay, okay, man. Come on, man. okay. It went from Sizzler, hometown, Golden Corral. Brazilian steakhouses, four go the child. Mm. God bless the child mm -hmm. that wash their own towel mm -hmm. with a full time job, but still move the crowd. Mm -hmm. A hundred gold thoughts, million dollar dreams. Mm -hmm. Collaborate together, what came through is a dream. Mm -hmm. Work got smarter, mm -hmm. goals got larger. Mm -hmm. We the Tesla plug, so we dodge all the chargers. Mm -hmm. Talk got expensive, so we working up a sweat. This bucket list rap, microphone check, mm -hmm. snakes gon' snake. Haters gon' hate, create a football fans. They fantasy is fake. Mm. Playing kid games on the dope fields. Lying all the time, saying keep it real. Mm -hmm. Good night, gazoo tight. Searching for the nightlife. Looking for a banner, it was spangled like star bright. Concrete jungle, hope your life right. Mm -hmm. Two in the morning, thinking about life. Two in the morning, thinking about life. Hope you're on the right side, gazoo tight. All right, shout out to Chan Green. I get it. I give it a six. Yeah. I give it a six. Gazuntai, he get a seven just for that. He started. He started off strong. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like I know. I could just tell by the way he rap. I know he could rap better than that. That nigga like Jersey Spanish. <laughs> <laughs> shout out to Chan Green though. All right, Bulu, yeah. man, don't let me Shit down. Me, nigga. Look, cause you've been one of the best the whole ball war. It's the third time. Shit or, oh, yeah, me, third nigga. or fourth. Look. When a black man down, the whole world losing. When a black woman down, the whole world lost. We must strive for greatness, but at what cost? My wings won't stop growing. Somebody call Rick Ross. I live <laughs> life like a king, my soul is the boss. When I say that I'm a god that intimidates the people, they start looking at me different like they start to see the evil. But my life gon' go on like Fast and Furious sequels. Life in this equation, so when I die, I see what it equals. I was down real bad at my lowest, but at that moment, I knew I had had to keep going and showing these niggas that I'm the best at flowing at any ocean and any motion that's causing commotion. Grown man balls, you little niggas wouldn't understand. It takes more than some gunshots to be a fucking man. Like I got niggas in the ground, I got niggas in that jam. Niggas who harsh and turn dark like the skin tone of Pam. Lived in the south, came back saying yes, ma'am. A crib that got drip, I call that Hoover Dam. If I screw up the beat, then I'm chopping up the lambs. Tony Baker, I'm head first with it, yelling cram. I know niggas dropping fours, but can't afford a ram. Yeah, that's my nigga Duncan, but he ain't never. Slam, don't you get it? The bars is impeccable. Thoughts is really positive, cause I be eating vegetables. The team gon' eat, cause we split in number like decimals. Humble with the swagger, my attitude respectable. Won't believe your rap, cause your sources is never credible. Me, I'm so incredible. Brody lost hope when he found out his case was federal. The DNA matching the fingerprints were identical. So he ain't coming back, he ain't dead to he a old soul. Now look, now all his causes collected, and he didn't even expect it. But this is a valuable lesson, don't overlook your Progression. He could have found his profession, but he found that Smith and Wesson. Now he's serving a life sentence. The knowledge is still pending. The message is still sending to any ear that's lame. Who can really comprehend it and embed it as a present? They can give it and receive it to their adolescence. Man, you just gotta know you destined. Man, that nigga, went hey, crazy out there. That yeah. was grown man bars, and it had a message. He was uh, talking. At yeah, the end bro. Of that. Yeah, King. Yeah, King Bulu do it again, Shout bro. Out Bulu, Bulu. All right, so who, ten we, who we out of ten? Who we picking out of King Bulu and uh and Ian? I gotta, I gotta give it to Ian Kelly. Kelly. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because I know a King. And his, you know what I'm saying? I know and King Ian Bulu Kelly's can do was now. Smoother though. Right. Delivery but I know wise. what King Bulu can do now. Oh, okay. I'm oh, expecting yeah. greatness out Every of him. Every time, man. right? I, Ian Kelly was unexpected. I never heard his music before. You feel yeah, me? I feel that. But yeah, both of them niggas. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to get both of them niggas 10 out of 10 when it come down to that. Shout out my nigga Ian Bitch Kelly. out of Thizzler, you know what I'm saying? Ball Wars. They be having some cold beats on this, Oh, too. super. I want to work with some of these people, man. Yeah. You know what I'm I saying? You, I also uh, have them on the show. I sent you one more, too, with Ian Kelly off the album. Just oh, yeah, since let's he popped that, up man. on this. I'm like, let's run my nigga Ian Kelly one time. He went stupid on this motherfucker. This joint right here called Timeless. Shout out Ian Kelly, man. I see you, boy. Yeah. Hey, yeah, Rose Curl. I definitely want Barbie on the show. She welcome anytime. 
King Bulo too. Give me time, I need space. I don't watch, I can't wait. My own race, keep the pace. Only first when I place. Watch it glow from the low. Got some time, I need more. We gon' grind, that's for sure. That's for sure. About my time, I don't play. Cross the line, ain't no way. They gon' hate what they say. I just smile. Oh shit. <laughs> Got it. Hold on. Give me time, I need space, I don't watch, I can't wait, my own race, keep the pace, only first when I place, watch it glow from the low, got some time, I need more, we gon' grind, that's for sure, that's for sure, about my time, I don't play, cross the line, ain't no way, they gon' hate what they say, I just smile in their face, I might be, I don't break, I might be, I don't break, do my thing, I can't wait, chips gon' fall, Watch it float, we gon' reap what we sow. Ain't got time, I need more. Watch it float, we gon' reap what we sow. Ain't got time, I need more. Just need time for a little more time. Oak Town player, nickel and dime. I bring reason to every damn rhyme. Like I was TDE signed, MVP grind, read between lines. Extra, still no niggas that be doing no flexing. I'm about action, fuck all the texting, fuck all the racism, and microaggression. Shout out to the L's, led to progression. Hugging these curbs, bending like Beckham, yes. Good in the bag, gon' keep me blessed. Insecurities I had to put to rest. No funeral, just fuel to go. With my dogs like Rufio, forever young, my wisdom's old. At the bank, can't chase these hoes. That's the way that I feel. Feel. We can let the ink spill. All the spit is worth meals. Saw my homie get killed. Can't tell me now how to kill. Learning now how to breathe. Put my mind back at ease. Turn it up some degrees. Blowing worries with trees. She's I just fell to my knees. Prayed and got back on my G. Alphabet is with me. Spread it out so you see. Sink or swim and get real. Ill, a feel, can't match, more balance, detach, success, a drug. I can't relapse. Watch it go, we gon' hot, ah. but we so ain't got time, I need more. Watch it go, we gon' reap, but we so ain't got time, I need more. Shout out to the chat. Shout out to the chat. Shout out Ian Kelly. Nah, they make that beat. Shout out to Senses. They made that beat. Same dudes who made Shut the Fuck Up. They made that beat. Tell me, I need some shit. Come on. I'm I like that shit. Come on. Hey, put us in the group chat today. Come on. Yeah. I, got I got a lab tomorrow. Come on. I'll tell them send some shit, dude. You pull up tomorrow, too. Come on. Let me know. I'm around. In the, in the, in the morning. Come on. Hear me. Yeah, man. Hey, appreciate y'all, man. Tune in Monday. Bam, bam, bam. We'll be live.